Welcome to Friday, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, and welcome to Tanya. Hello. And... Hello, it's me. It's me. This guy down <laughs> Yay. here. Yay. Darcy. Darcy has delay. joined us. Yeah. So if you could say just a couple words, I'm going to get the volume correct. Darcy? Yes. Yes. Okay. A couple, things. A couple <laughs> things. That's a one word, things. but I, I, yeah. did, I did get to see the, uh, the level. Um. Darcy has joined us from afar. Uh, you know, you have to make uh, changes in this uh, new environment that we're in. Mm -hmm. So we uh, decided to um, figure out a way that we can include Darcy and also on Wednesday, Erlen as well, Erlen if he's too. available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I've got, uh, not during the first game, but the second game, we've got a surprise on how we're going to include Darcy even further. Mm -hmm. and um, But Darcy unfortunately cannot participate in the first game because we're playing it on a console that's in the room and we Darcy does not have telepresence. Is that Yet. what the right word would be? Telepresence? Telepresence? I think yep. that is. I, I, I believe have, that that uh, is the yeah. correct term, yes. Yeah, where you have a physical kind of... Pr uh, you need a Roomba, and then you put a monitor on it, and then I'll be there. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. But you'd have to steer the Roomba. I guess you could just randomly go around the house uh, on the Roomba. It's telepresence. It's just random presence, but it's presence. <laughs> <laughs> random telepresence. We could, we could, uh, we could stick uh, your um, tablet on top of one of the cats, Ooh. and yeah. then they could just friend you around. The room. <laughs> That's cruel. That would be hilarious. <laughs> a cat, a cat uh, cam with Darcy on it. Yeah, I don't know how it's you'd control cam. them though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be able to control them, and they'd start biting you. Yeah, it'd be difficult. <laughs> uh, so welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, welcome to the place where we play new ga new games on classic consoles, mm -hmm. specifically the Atari 2600. And we're going to be, this is a patch challenge day. And so we're going to be playing three games for patches. And I'm just going to get up my notes. The first one is Tire Tracks. And you're like, we just played that last episode. Why are you playing Tire Tracks again? Uh, you, wow. you completed it. <laughs> uh, Tanya didn't complete I, I Tire Tracks. I came very close, but yeah. yeah. Um, but we'll get to why we're playing it again okay. uh, after a bit. We're also going to be playing a classic patch challenge, uh, Beam Rider from Activision. Activision are the patch challenge games. And then we're going to take a stab at Astronomer again which is very difficult to get the patch, mm. as it should be. Mm. Shouldn't be easy. Um, so we're going to be playing those three games. Uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers for supporting the show, and their names are on the screen, and Cafe Man 2 d Captain Classic, Charles and Jack, Dianoid, Dietrich for Drexel, who is mm -hmm. also with us over here. I have to remember where, where you are. Right below me. There we go. Uh, right in my lap. <laughs> Emmanuel Ferreira, Gredham's Ground Trooper, Gix 1978, Johnny WC 23, Cal L Prime 1959, Carl G. Croco 2600, Laud Mott, Mad Max 2069, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless Fiji, Retro Salaryman, Spartan 581, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, and Tiki Dan K, and Venjack. I almost have to like divide them up into three or five or how many games we're playing hmm. and say, this game is brought to you by RC70. Yeah. <laughs> VG, retro salary. Man. That's right. That might be a fun way yeah. of doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always look over there for Darcy. Actually, he can't see us. I can't we can see, see Darcy. I'm looking at well, you now. Over the stream. I'm looking at past but, yeah. you. I'm, yeah. That's right. But I am yeah. I'm looking, at the you. Past. looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see and what me. the look, stream lag is. There I'm going to clap. Oh, what's and what am I doing? Tell me when you see, Jesus. Calm down, buddy. When you see that on the stream. <laughs> tell us when you see it on the stream. Oh, do it again. I was I was entertaining myself and I wasn't <laughs> listening to you. There. I just clapped. I heard, okay. Watch the stream. Okay. Now. Now. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. Yeah. About five seconds. Yeah. Oh, Gretams can't send you cookies. I know. Gretams had these beautiful cookies on her Instagram page, and I told her that if they were birthed during the stream, then by rights we should have some yeah but uh unfortunately uh border crossings are a little hard might be challenging <laughs> we'll hit you up some other time <laughs> that's right um you can support the show and subscribe for free as well if you link your amazon prime to your twitch prime and click subscribe just as darcy did who's named Drexel in the chat mm. um and i want to thank all the people who are tuning in live on twitch uh we broadcast wednesdays and fridays usually 
Uh, Gretums, Metal Lunar 7, Muddy Funster, Pack Rat VG, Ayus Bosta, uh, Ricardo Pim Drexel, who typed in the chat as well, so I'll say his name, and Spartan581. Hello. Hello. Yes. Thank you for coming. Yes. And, yeah, Muddy Funster is in the chat and will be playing Lovely. his game. Lovely. Yeah. Um, so, mail, news, and feedback. Uh, I've got this lovely new shirt. Oh, it's so cool. Somebody I did love mention it. it in the chat, Pack Rat VG. Yes. And for the people who don't know what you this stand shirt... Stand up a bit because Darcy is blocking it Darcy, ever so slightly. Stop blocking my shirt. Yeah. There you go. I'm not blocking your shirt. I have to crouch. This part of the room is... Yeah. You have to There's not even anything squats. in that part of the room, so it's <laughs> a waste all around. All around. So, like... <laughs> Uh, so, if you don't know what this shirt is, it is the Intellivision Running Man. And I looked for quite a while for this shirt because most of them say Intellivision uh. across the bottom. And I don't, I don't usually like if if it's a symbol that's recognizable. I don't need additional information about the symbol. That's the symbol should be good enough for the people <clears throat> to know. And that's usually the type of shirts I get. Is not like blah, and then Atari and whatever. And somebody um, asked about this shirt um, on uh, a previous broadcast. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does have information. There we go. Good. Because I just sent back to him. I um, left a message oh, for him. Oh, that's I, great. I have no idea where I got this shirt. And, and I asked Tanya, it's like, do you remember buying it? Or... I, I don't. I think you got it quite a while ago. And I also looked for my email and I was like, I don't see anything in here. Yeah. And then I looked at the tab, the tab and it just says, you know, generic fruit of the loom. Yeah. They just bought some shirts. Then on the back, it says pixel <laughs> with a little ship, but the, the ship is for the game. So there's a hint <laughs> for the person. It says pixel. That's probably not the easiest thing to search on, but pixel t-shirts or I, I am not sure. Yeah. So. It is I a very cool shirt because it's nice that it covers the entirety of the front too. Yeah, full so print. many so many shirts don't ha aren't full prints like that. They're just, they're yeah, just a single great. decal. Yeah. yeah, some don't work as full prints. No, well, but that, might be that's too large. Perfect. But this this yeah. does because it's so sparse. Yeah. So I I do love that shirt and I think I wore it like a couple episodes back. Mm. Um, and I got this in the mail, and um, I didn't recognize ordering it, but I did. And then I opened you the box did. and it said car parking monitor. I'm like, I didn't order car parking monitor, but it was just the box for um, ordering it. And I opened it up and it said, I already opened it, um, says, thanks, James. Happy retro gaming, Matthew. Oh, that's very nice of Matthew to include that. But we were very confused. I was like, what is this? Yeah, what, like what who's is... sending us random stuff? No, but I actually paid for this. <laughs> okay, there we it. go. That's I actually figured it out. It's like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> um, it's uh, Fred Conpasca's RGB mod for Intellivision. Mm -hmm. So I'll be modding, uh, RGB modding my Intellivision. Nice. Um, so I have an RGB modded Coleco, <clears throat> and I will have Intellivision, and eventually my 2600 will get fixed. One of these years. Yeah. But now there's a little bit more time on my hands <laughs> luckily yeah so i can uh put some of that time towards um fixing the atari 2600 mm. but right now we have a, a composite modded 2600 that we'll be able to play on nowhere near as good as the rgb mm. it's got a little bit of ghosting a little bit of smudginess but uh it doesn't look too bad on the stream and we're able to play um real cartridges and that's mm. that's the big uh bonus um, and also I'll be ordering a 7800 S video mod as well. Um, there are no RGB 7800 mods that I could find. But S video is um, not bad. It's better than composite, not quite as good as RGB. So uh, we'll be able to play some 7800 games because a developer uh, reached out to me and said, Hey, I'm going to be working on some uh, 7800 games. Um, are you going to be showing some on the stream? And we did play one, I think, total on the stream so far. It is, uh, it was Pac-Man Jr.? Baby Pac-Man. Baby Pac-Man. The, um... Yes, 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 yes. Sa uh, half pinball, half video I game. I love that. That's such a good game. Yeah, so yeah. We'll, we'll definitely be playing that again when I get the S-Video mod installed. Yes, and I looked nice. at the instructions, and it doesn't look too bad. It's just a, uh, a board, and there's about eight wires from the 7800 board onto that board okay 
and then like six wires out from that because it includes a composite plus an s video plus uh, left and right. Left and right. Yeah. Left and right. Yeah. Oh, hello, Atari. So it doesn't look too bad. And now that I've done a little bit of soldering, I feel somewhat confident and able to do that. Um, you do have to. They're pretty small little solders, so it'll be a nice challenge. Mm -hmm. um, Darcy has taught me well, or yeah. taught me enough. <laughs> <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough to be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> um, Great news on the new retro systems for the show. Yes. Yeah, I want to be able to expand out so that if something really interesting comes across my uh, path that I'd be able to play it on the show. Yeah. Obviously, I'm always going to be like concentrating on 2600 games because I love them and there's way more homebrew put out for those mm -hmm. than all the other ones. But it's nice to have a bit of diversity and, and play some it different is games. It yeah. is, once in a while. And um, I just ran across a game that I would actually like to order for the Coleco vision mm. and it's called ghost by team pixel boy okay and it looks uh like a cross between mega man and uh oh, what's the other one uh with the yellow cover damn it i forget what it is um it's remember the shirt you bought me with the head on it and i was like oh don't buy me that one you bought because they bought uh, the same one for somebody else. Oh, that one. that one! Yes. Ah, uh, what is that? What is that name of that game? It'll come to me. Um, anyway, if anybody knows how to order that game, because I went to their website yeah. and I couldn't figure it out how to order it, but uh, it's Ghost by Team Pixel Boy, mm -hmm. and somebody typed in the Facebook in a Facebook group. It's like, oh, I just got it in the mail today. And it's like, how did you get it? <laughs> Arg. Um, okay, so we're going to move on to our first game, Tire Tracks Patch Challenge. Again? Again. What is going but on? The reason that we're going to play it again, or I'm going to play it again anyway, you don't have to play it, um, is that <laughs> we didn't play the final version. And we knew oh, that. Oh, yeah. We okay. knew that on Wednesday. Yes, we Because did. I don't have the cartridge of it. Mm. Um, so I couldn't really call it an official time mm. because it wasn't the finished version mm. um but muddy funster the person who made the game muddy funster in the chat in yes. the chat reached out to me and said hey you don't have the final version why are you playing that old version uh, here's the final version lovely. so he sent me a binary which um i can't give out of course um well. um of the final version but he made it a, a special zero page homebrew oh, version oh, nice. which is also good for tracking <laughs> in case i do give it out yeah, which i'm true. not going to um so that i can play the final version which mm. is version 2.9 version 295 mm. Um, so I'm just going to blaze through the first three levels. And then and suffer then, through the fourth? And <laughs> I got it in my second try. Well, you did pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to play that for a very short period of time, hopefully. And um, hey, VHZC, um, who is also, I saw a post, he is developing uh, NES game. Oh, very cool. I believe that was him, unless I got it wrong. But I'm pretty sure that was him who posted a, an NES game. Looks really nice. Uh, okay, so let's move over to Tire Tracks. Oh, Darcy's in that screen too. Excellent. Oh, that's perfect. He replaces the webcam of the, all oh, the stuff Oh, the there. cat cam. Oh, no. Cat cam. Yeah. So, have to suffer without the cats for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, they're on They're on, on the screen here. Atari yeah. is, is quite settled. Um, he's not very good with the social distancing rules. I just no, want to say. he's not with anyone. <laughs> I know a few people like that. <laughs> <laughs> They're very sad that they can't, like... <laughs> well, I have constantly. to say, ever since this whole this whole thing has come up, I have this overwhelming urge to hug everyone I see. <laughs> and, and maybe it's because of, you know, the times we're in, and maybe it's just because I'm not allowed to. Yeah. But, um, yeah, anyway. I'm uh, hugging a lot of people when, when all these rules get lifted. <laughs> Tire tracks patch uh, score so attempt, attempt number, number two. two. Kind of attempt number one because the other one yeah, didn't count didn't because really it was count. on a beta yeah, version, uh, an early version. So, but yours would be attempt number two. Well, that's give true. it a try. I will give it one or two tries. I will not spend an hour like I did on the Wednesday. So, 
on this version, it has the final music too oh. by Rush Jet One. Um, Zero page home who also did the music for um, the second game of um, Muddy Funster as well. Okay. His name escapes me. It is uh, Daredevil. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. So let me just turn it up for a bit. Oh, nice. Two excellent games. Um, is the final version easier? Uh, no. <laughs> no, not easier. Okay, so let's give it a try. And I'll turn down the music here a bit. So I should be able to get through games one and two pretty quick. Oop, let's die. I want to get a good score. Darcy should be able to watch these in uh, five second lag time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty no! good uh, character. Uh, the, the guy in the bike? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Gra graphics are really I, nice I'm, and detailed. I'm really fond of the dashens that come racing at you. <laughs> it's like those are awesome. Well, more like they're blocking your way. Oh, they're so cute. There we go. Perfect score. Yeah. Thirteen point five. <laughs> I don't know. Perfect score. Huh. It is. It's like <laughs> full acceleration. Oh, well, I think maybe, I back but I, I do one. wonder if uh, I wonder what the maximum time is like. Oh, maximum dash. time or like, minimum time? or the minimum time oh yeah, you hit a dash end <laughs> don't hit the oh, dog smush. Oh, smush. <laughs> smushy dogs oh. 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 i do love the oh, death by something water something happened five seconds Later, and I, I was like, what? No, you're doing Five fine. Five seconds from now. <laughs> that is true. Oh, what is happening? Oh, spoilers. It, <laughs> is it looking slightly worse than it did on Wednesday? It's crunchy. It is crunchy. The lights interfere with it sometimes. Oh. Do you want me to adjust anything? You can't. You'd have to turn off the lights. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay, Darcy should be holding a console. <laughs> a controller? A controller, maybe. A console? Hold a console, Darcy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, game three. Soon we'll have him here in VR. This is the ice level. Yeah. Damn it. so quiet now perfect, Woo! perfect. okay <laughs> i didn't let up on the gas so yeah good job good job Whew, that's a console cam mm. oh okay that's what he means yeah that's where the console usually lives that's... i just i just posted said too saturated you can adjust that in frame meister oh that's good to know oh yeah let's do it then I think it's a bit. It is a bit. A bit much. Yeah. It is. It, it looks a little. Uh, it looks a little different. You guys get to see it live because the menu shows up. <laughs> True. Yep, it does. Uh, that would be color set. Yes. So, what was it at? Thirty-five. 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 Oh, 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 it blinks. Okay, that's why it's like, it's not doing anything. Oh, oh that's pretty good. That's significantly better than it was, yeah. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, it's not as bleedy. No, not as bleedy. That's good. I don't know if anything else can help it. Thank you very much for the... Yes, yeah. Ice Costa. Yeah, for the that suggestion. definitely helps a lot, yeah. Okay. Game four. See if I can remember the pattern. I think it's down most of the time. Mm. Oh. No, there's quite a pattern. I no, feel like I feel like down. I just did this. You did. I know. Two days ago. <laughs> Two days ago, but it felt feels like yesterday. It's crazy. 
time is flying. This has been one heck Damn of a it. week. I found this week to go very slow. <laughs> I have the opposite uh, <laughs> opinion of how this week went, so. Oh, and then it's up, down. Up, okay. down. Up, down. Yeah. No. I feel like I, I could do this for you. <laughs> Most of it. Most of it, although I couldn't get gold, so... I believe it's at, damn it, it's down. in the bottom. Okay, so it's in the bottom after I do that little pattern. Do, 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 paddle down. <laughs> up, down, up, then go lower. Oh, I slowed lower. down. Still may get it though, but probably not now. Ooh, very close. That was very close. You have to get under 21. Thank you, Muddy Funster. I still didn't get gold, though. <laughs> Damn it! She got really close. 0. 0.4? 21. .4. Oh, I was really close. but uh, Frustratingly close. Uh, James, for some reason, didn't want to stream for another hour so I could uh, decrease by 0. 0.4 in a it. second. So. Finger slipped. Yeah. We had already been going for... A long a time. <laughs> I think we figured it was well over an hour of playing tire tracks, so. Yeah. Yeah. Did the, uh, did you, did the color saturation adjustment stick? Uh, I suppose yeah, I was asking. Yeah. To me, it doesn't look any different. Um, it won't, it's not a big, it's not a huge change. Yeah. It's a little bit less bleedy. More blood. More blood. <laughs> Damn it! Concentrating. You can talk. <laughs> See, I don't want to distract you. I can true. talk, but while I was trying to do it, you were dancing around me, showing Damn off it. your your cartridges. <laughs> That's true. Which which was more than it tiny bit distracting when I was Walking trying to, uh, yeah, when I was trying to uh, focus on uh, the pattern. Damn it! Just keep going, keep going. Otherwise you never get past. Damn it! You never get past it and then you never practice no, the last, no, no. the last few rounds, so. The last, last few bits are not. No, they are hard. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> Harder than you're giving them credit for. See? Ah, what did I say? What I'm did I say? I'm just catching the edge of them. They're, they're, I know. I'm not like blasting into yeah. a barrier. It's ah. I must give this definitely to Muddy Funster that there is a very quick reset scheme mm -hmm. to start the game over. It's awesome. Brilliant, and you can you can back out of the game just by going straight into the water, uh, which I think is brilliant. Yeah, you don't have to finish You it. don't have to hit a reset button. Uh, You're just like, and dead. Okay, keep keep going. So I think it, it's it's awesome because it really does add to the gameplay when you're trying to do a speed round. Slow down. Distract it. <laughs> see? See? <laughs> you didn't distract me. This... Uh. The slowing down accidentally. Oh, trust did. me, everything distracts you when you're trying to <laughs> when you're trying to do the patterns in this game. Uh, how's the island, Darcy? Uh, it's it's very much surrounded by water still. Yeah, good. Yeah. Keeps all the plague people out. <laughs> yeah. Not really though, because they're here too. Damn so. it. Is it? Like yeah. Everywhere. Just like everywhere. Point two off. Just caught. I'm sure it's less. Slowed down. But, you know, you probably have less, I would think. Water does help that. It does. They they just got their not too long ago. Their first case. Yeah. Ugh. Much later than here. Well, it would have to be almost because you pretty much have to go to Vancouver to get here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you yeah. can fly direct, but you're not likely to. No. Like from other places other than Vancouver? Yeah, you're likely to, you're most likely to be in Vancouver and then come here, is the thing. Are there any flights from anywhere else, like the U.S.? Um, um, from Mexico, and you can fly oh, okay. to some Canadian cities, and I think you I can fly Victoria. to Seattle. 
I was going to say you have Ferry from Seattle, although that might not be running right now. Yeah. Um, so but all, you do I get don't direct access. Do it. You definitely can. Um, mm -hmm. It's just that there's not, there's nowhere near as many people coming here directly from elsewhere as there are people coming from Vancouver. If you want a break, just let me know. Oh, no. For a little bit. Like at a certain point, sometimes you want to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I probably should have done that last time instead of playing for an hour. Straight. I just got that this is like the Halloween level. <laughs> it is. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> yeah, it's great. And when we did the Halloween show. Yes. He made the whole game into Halloween. Ah. Yeah. Just, just for the show. That's awesome. Well, oh I mean, you just need obstructions. They can be almost anything. Yeah, you, you could have a St. Patrick's Day. What are those things? Tracks, like, you the, could have a, like, the, like anything. Bagpipe hats. Bagpipe hats. I would. You'll have to identify them. Can yeah. I? <laughs> I can't talk right now. I don't know. It's been by. Which ones? There's ghosts. So what do we have? We have zombies, pumpkins, gravestones, ghosts. It looks like. One eyed snakes, I don't know. Those. With the green thing in the. Or, or, or the uh, guy from um, oh, that musical. Uh, They're zombies. The, the orange the headed plants. people? No, 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 the plants. That what there. Is, what is that? Yeah. It, the, there's a green plant. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a green. Yeah, okay. What do you, what do you call those? It's big mouth. What is wrong with you? Yeah, that must be it. Yeah. Little shop of horrors. Venus flytrap. Yeah. Thank yeah. you yeah. very much. I don't know why that wasn't jumping jumping to mind. Yeah, but what's the, it's, uh, what's the name of the plant? Though? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Seymour's the guy who feeds the plant. That's right. Seymour, feed me. Ah! I did this in two tries last time. I know. I know. It was very frustrating. <laughs> One hour later, I still couldn't get the gold. So, <laughs> just, 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 just ride through it. <laughs> no, I've completed this many times. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. Oh. That's why I don't want to talk, because if I distract you, I know you're just going to get more angry. Not at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, game. but still. <laughs> Damn it! You're so close! Yeah. Sometimes you can, uh, yes, D James, James, Audrey, thank you, Nathan Strum. Audrey, yes. Um, James has the look of determination, uh, yes. My finger slipped. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yep. Grr. What are the blue guys? And the red hats. What did we do we establish what those are? Oh, the main sprite. Oh. So uh, Muddy Funster said the main sprite was changed to a witch on a broom for the Halloween one. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's yes. what the difference was. Yes, that was very cool. And all four levels were the were these characters though, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Audrey 2, actually. Hmm. Audrey 2. First one died. Zombies. <laughs> we'll see what that is. Yeah, I'll be right back. Zombies are at our door. Yeah. Don't let them in. <laughs> oh, she fell on the stairs. Ugh. Could be cats. Could be zombies at our door. Wanting our toilet paper. <laughs> Yeah. Or it could be delivery. I don't. I don't think that the zombies want toilet paper. Well, unless it's know. unless they've already had their fill of brains and they're trying to wipe their mouth, maybe. It's true. Are zombies like just really efficient at? Because uh... they eat. So do they just use up all their energy moving around and going? Ugh. Or do zombies poop? Do zombies uh, poop? They just <laughs> ooze. They just ooze. I mean, it could ooze out of all the... 
That's true. Rotting flesh, that's too. True. I don't think zombies are real. I think that's the big thing, is that they're not... <laughs> it's not science fiction, it's... Uh, magical... Uh, realism. Realism? <laughs> magical unrealism. I think I slowed down. Oh, that was good. You I got, got it. Woo! I got it, but I slowed down. It's not a good perfect job. run. Good job. Good job. But I did it, so there you go. Yay. <laughs> a proper one, sanctioned by... Muddy Funster, Funster, who gave this one to me, <laughs> done live. Yep. I didn't buy the game, so I don't think I deserve the patch, but I did do it. <laughs> you should buy the game at some point. Yes. Yes. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, so that is the first game we play, and now we're going to play a game with Darcy. And you're like, Ooh. how is that possible? How are you going to play a game with Darcy? Darcy is nowhere near you. And That's true. He, uh, and and there is no network ability mm. built into the Atari 2600. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure some of you know about this, but there is a website, um, javatari.org, J-A-V-A-T-A-R-I.org. Mm. And it has net play over the internet, which is very mm. exciting. Um, so we are still, we should still be hooked up. Um, you didn't close the window for that, or did you? I didn't. I didn't. Okay, yeah, we're, it says it's still hooked up. Good. So, we're going to be playing uh, Javatari. We're going to be playing the next game, which is Beam Rider. Over the internet with Darcy. Woo! Yes. Chess. No, we're not going to be playing chess. <laughs> <laughs> Although, depending on... That would work with uh, Erlen, probably. It might, depending on whether it supports the scheme uh, that Andrew Davy is using to make the game. It may or, not, may or may not be playable. <laughs> so, here we go. It's got full screen here. Just have to set it up for a second. There we go. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to be playing not that game, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be another game. How do we... Uh... No! Oh, I think we do it this you way. You drag it. Don't, oh, no. It say? Select cartridge. There we go. Oh. We're going to be playing there we go, Beam and Rider still working. first. Still working. still working. You see it on your <laughs> screen? Excellent. Charles Reese says, Network Atari, welcome to the future! Oh, one second, one second. Well, almost. Where is Darcy? Oh, I didn't add him to this screen. <gasps> How me... could you? I know, I know. That's hurtful. I gotta add you to this screen. <laughs> uh, Remove the cat cam. Window capture. I'll just put him over top of it. Yeah. Hangouts. Oh, big Darcy. Yay! Smaller Darcy. <laughs> There you go. There we go. And we'll move that hangouts way down here. Oh, not that far down. To the webcam. Technical issues, yes. There we go. Not really technical issues. Well, they can't see. Now you can see Darcy. There yes. we go. I'll move him over this a little bit. This is very exciting. There, and it should be covered more. No, a little bit more. Oh, uh, Tanya's name says Erlen. Yes, I noticed this in the last stream. Oh, no. I was what? Erlen for a large, a large port of the last me? stream. I didn't notice it until I was watching it on YouTube oh, afterwards. No. <laughs> Let's fix that name. There we go. And actually, Thank we can much. put Darcy's name there, too. <gasps> That's exciting. How about that? Would that be good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We'll put it beside you. <laughs> Because there's not a lot of headroom there. Excellent. There. Ha, ha, ha. Excellent. Boom. Darcy, get all I'm three so names. I'm so very excited. This is awesome. <laughs> okay. There's nothing in that part of the room anyway, so. Yeah. Might as well put that <laughs> That's true. It's all in the corner. Okay. Uh, so we have to play this controller. Ooh. Oh, I'm playing? You'll play first okay. while I read out some information about Beam Rider. Um, it is pretty straight. <laughs> the controller forward. just looks ridiculously large. Uh, it is. I'm not it's used a to big seeing it from this perspective. I'm just like, Jenny is hiding behind the controller. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh no, okay, this is really loud. Oh. One second. I wonder if I can turn you down, don't you think? Turn the game. Oh. Darcy, can you talk? I, I'm talking. I'm talking. Okay. You're too quiet now in relation to the game. Yeah. Because they're both using the same. <laughs> it's it's certainly more yelly. <laughs> um, let me see if I can turn down the volume of this. Oh, he ran right into me. Just one second. <laughs> Okay. Quick options, audio, no volume, audio buffer, no. Settings, ooh, might be here. Emulation, volume, 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 nope. Controllers, nope. Console, nope. They assume you're gonna be adjusting it on your computer. <laughs> yeah, which is a good, I mean, Assumption, they, sh I they suppose. shouldn't have to uh, do the adjustment there. So I don't know if I can turn down volumes on individual. Oh no, I th I think I can turn down the volume of a program mm. in my settings. Can he move his mic closer to his mouth? Um, that might help a little bit. Can you angle your microphone in closer to your mouth? Hello. Okay, you can continue. That, that it helps a bit. But not much. Um, I think I have a volume control for each program on Windows. Volume mixer. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's coming from inside his headset. Headset. <laughs> oh no, because you're through. Damn it. You're through Firefox as well. <laughs> Press forward. Oh, not now. Forward is a missile, and that's how you shoot the, the oh, that guy. Oh, the green. Yeah. Um, I should have. Oh. <laughs> so much for that. Okay, Darcy. What I'm gonna do <laughs> is connect back up with you again, because I can. Oh, wait a second. I don't see something. F I don't see a volume for Chrome. Oh, maybe because there's no sounds coming through Chrome. Um, I will connect with you through Chrome. No, not Javatari. Oh, that might be easier. Let's do Javatari. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to send you another link. I don't know how to restart the game, so... You don't need to. Okay. We're closing that down. Okay. Please hold everyone while we... Pack Rec VG. Don't shoot the extra ship's power. Honestly, I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. I don't know how this game plays, so I'm just shooting at things right yeah. now. We haven't read the instructions James yet. hasn't read, read me the instructions, so... We will I'm get doing there. what I usually do, which is just start playing, and then people <laughs> tell me how to actually play the game as, as we go along. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I will uh, thank you for that tip. <laughs> Net play... Uh, host, okay, and I will send you the link, the new one, there we go, you can connect up to that, excellent, okay, so I'm going to load up the game again. Extra ship icons. Gotcha. What are we drinking over there? It is it is <laughs> white wine. <laughs> As I mentioned, it's been a rough week, so a little bit of wine is. Uh, what is Darcy drinking over there? Out Probably of your water. Crow cup. Oh, nice! I got one of those too. Okay. All right, we're trying again. So we've got the game back. Mm -hmm. And Darcy should be able to play the game just okay, like we'll, before. We'll let him uh, play. Forward to start. Forward to 
start? Yeah. What's forward? <laughs> uh, T, I think, or R. Jim Beam and Ginger Ale. Very nice. Or forward? Are you, fo are you focused on the game? Oh, you have to reset the game. I had to reset it. Try now. It's probably really loud for everyone. Or maybe not. Maybe just for me. Yeah, just for me. Okay, now I should be able to adjust the volume separately. For Chrome. I can. Excellent. Now I can turn Darcy back up. And is that is that power? No. That is not power. Okay. And there we go. Oh, Darcy, <laughs> if you could talk. 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 <laughs> he 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 is a little muted or muffled, I guess would be the term. <laughs> I can talk, but I have nothing to say. Nothing except to say. No! Except no! <laughs> <laughs> so the, are these are the things you want to capture? This is your power. I think you're supposed to get those. Don't, oh don't, no, don't, maybe not. <laughs> Again, when you're playing before someone has told you how to play the game. She will just kill you. She'll be like, "Oh, where did you get that flaming explosion?" And then you're like, "Oh, I got it." <laughs> okay. Things like relative volumes. It's very interesting. Relative volumes? Yeah. 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 Let's see how this gets uh, hectic pretty quick. Okay, I think I've got the volumes good now. Except for this. Get there we go. Okay. I like that there are specific lanes. Yeah, I do too. Oh, people can't see it. Okay. No there one we can go. see it. Ah, oh, yay. Okay, volume should be good, Darcy volume should be good, we can see everything, and now I'll read the instructions so you know guys know how to play. Okay, Beam Rider play. by David Rolfe. This is from 1983, it's an 8K game. Uh, he made Beam Rider, Frogs and Flies, Home Run, oh, Super no! Challenge Baseball, <laughs> Death. <laughs> Uh, Beam Rider is a fixed shooter written for Intellivision by David Rolfe, published by Activision in 1983. The game was ported oh. to Atari. You heard Darcy twice now. What happened? What happened? Okay, we're just going to stop the game for a second because... There is an echo, apparently. Yeah, of course there's an echo. Ugh. Okay, stop. Okay, Darcy, <laughs> say something. Something. Shh. Something. Again? Something. He's probably just too loud in the room. Darcy is? Yeah. Yeah. Say You're again? That. You've been saying that for literally decades and I'm too loud. <laughs> <laughs> literally decades. Yeah, it's literally. probably you coming through this microphone and that's why there's an echo. Okay, it, I just need to turn you down a bit. <laughs> I've heard that too. Heard that. Your mic's too loud. <laughs> Okay, let's do this again. Everyone's saying the echo sounds cool, though. Yep. Makes, makes Darcy seem more dramatic. Nice effect. Ooh, we're in a big stadium, <laughs> and Darcy's the, the star on stage. Uh, uh, the game was ported to the Atari 2600 with a slightly reduced feature set. Uh, Atari 5200, Atari 8-bit family, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, and MSX. I did not play this on the Commodore 64. No, I don't recall so, this on the Commodore 64. So, let's read out the instructions so we know how to play. That should be helpful. And these are from the manual on the Atari Age site. 
Uh, level. Level begins at Sector 1. We're beginning at Sector 1. You immediately be in the space station. It's a control panel. It displays your score, two reserve ships, sector, number of enemy saucers, and three torpedoes. So you have three to go, two more to kill. The top left. See the two? Mm -hmm. That's how many more he has to kill. Mm. Uh, and three torpedoes, purple, mm. top right. And that's Yellow the ships. forward you were saying. Yep, so now he needs to shoot that ship. Ah! Got oh, it. He needs to shoot the ship. Okay. Good job. Didn't realize that was the purpose. To start the action, move the control stick up. The hatch doors will open, thrusting you through hyperspace to the restrictor shield. Hyperspace. Your light ship. Light ship? Apparently you have a light ship. Uh, we'll move left and right when you move the control stick left to right to fire laser lariats. Press the left side lariats. button. Oh, this I is... To fire torpedoes, press the right side button. The right side button. This is instructions for not the 2600, <laughs> even though it says the 2600. Funny, funny, funny. Okay. Uh, to begin a new game at any time, press reset on the game console to pause the action. Press zero on the hand controller. This is for Coleco. Mm. Screen will go black. To resume the oh, game, press any other key. To drop out of a multiplayer game without interrupting other players, press five on the hand controller when your turn begins. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, on the 2600, press reset and move the joystick to start the action. Laser Larets are pressed by firing the red button. To fire torpedoes, push the joystick forward. Mm. There, there we you go. go. On the left, difficulty oh, switch. Yeah, we can't really hear you. <laughs> this is a problem. Just, We're gonna have to deal with the echo. Whatever I'm saying is like super relevant. And here you. Well, that's why we need to hear you, right? Yeah. I turned it up a little bit, so there should. I can't be... make sarcastic comments uh, for what you say if I can't hear you. So. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Back to Tanya. Um. So we should Back be on. Back to me. Or whoever. No. Can we switch back and forth? Yep. Yeah, you just play. Really? Yep. Oh. Or not? I have to reset. There you go. Is that me? Yeah. I Left, don't right. see. Oh, oh, there we go. I have to wait for the game to start. Yeah, for sure. No, I never knew this. Did how many people out there knew this? Um, B stands for basic and A stands for advanced. On the Atari twenty six hundred. Oh, the 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 B the, the B A switch? switch for difficulty. Oh, really? That makes sense. Because it's always kind of set to B as like the standard game. And A stands for advanced. That's what it says right here. That might have been made up later. That's an extra ship. It is? Yeah. You have to catch it? Oh, yeah. Turn that off. Yep. I'm sure it's just a uh, spam. Yeah, they're saying that I need to be turn myself in because I'm under arrest. Oh, yes. I've been getting quite a few of those lately. Uh, I got a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Every day almost. I need to pay my taxes with. Um, Google Play cards. Press forward. Forward. Yeah, press forward, 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 forward. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize that's what I needed. That. Sorry, no, to kill that ship. Yep. Yeah, Tanya, you uh, Man Two Ds didn't no know. No <laughs> um, actually, get three per round. It refreshes. Yeah, I'm just talking nonsense. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if you've. <laughs> Pack Rat didn't know that. Cafe Man Two D did didn't did know, know that. I did not know that either. Did, I didn't know it either, and I. I haven't read a lot of manuals for the 2600, but you'd think I would run across that or know that or would hear that somewhere. B equals basic and A is advanced. Yeah. I don't think I've ever played any of them on A. It's very rare, and some of them don't. Don't have, have a change, have an a. right? I'm sure. Yeah. Get that. Oh, oh, you catch that thing? Yeah, so yeah, it's an extra ship. It looks like you. It looks like the things on the bottom. It's an extra yeah. ship. Good to know, I good to know. I know, me too, me too. Uh, can you accidentally again. shoot it? Yes, you can, and it goes goes right towards you really fast. Oh, no. Yeah, so Darcy got killed by one, one time. Well, that's what happens when you shoot yourself. Press forward to kill that guy. Yeah. You got oh, it! Phew. Okay. I thought everyone knew that, I suppose, just says. No, nope, apparently not. No. Nope. <laughs> Beginner in advance. It matches player. Sears expert and a novice. novice. Uh... Uh, expert and novice. That's what they call it. E yeah, but N. this is A and B. Yeah. Beginner in advance, not expert and novice. Um, the bad thing is that they're not labeled on the 7800. Oh, that's not good. Beam bearings. The spaceship station. Whenever a ship is destroyed or when you complete a sector, 
you will return via hyperspace to the space station. When you're ready to continue, move the control stick up. The hatch doors will open and you'll be on your way. I'm guessing it looks a little bit more advanced on the Coleco. Um, space station does not appear in the 2600 version. Oh, well, that's uh, a shame. Enemy saucers. There are 15 enemy saucers in each sector. Oh, okay. They all must be destroyed before you can go to the next sector. Every time a saucer is hit, the number in the upper left-hand corner of the screen will count down by one. Uh, sector Sentinel. When all 15 white enemy saucers have been destroyed in a sector, their Sentinel ship will cruise along the top of the beams. Beam Rider. Those are beams. Oh, ran, uh, ran right into them. Only a torpedo can destroy it. Weapons. Laser lariats are the only effective against certain invaders. See dangerous encounters. Torpedoes, however, will destroy the first object they meet on, on the beam. You're only given three torpedoes per sector. Sport. Very bad. Oh, you do advance to the next sector, though. Yeah, you just miss your chance to hit the ship. Yeah. Uh, you're only given three torpedoes per sector. Use them sparingly, because they're your only weapon against this, the sector sentinel. Yellow rejuvenators. Occasionally, yellow rejuvenators will float through the beam matrix. Oh. Oh, don't know what that is yet. Uh, that was a yellow rejuvenator? <laughs> no. No. What is that? Get is it. it something I have to hit? It's probably a lot of bonus points. Uh, yeah. got oh, it. I got it. Allow them to land on your deck. Each connection will add a bonus ship to your fleet. If you shoot or torpedo a rejuvenator by mistake, it will turn red from the heated blast. Oh, oh no, whoops! Get out of the way. <laughs> the wreckage will destroy you on contact. Did yes. you just shoot it? I did accidentally. Oh, oh no. Just as you said it. So if you wanted to... Uh, ah, ah. just like you when you explode. I like that. It's cool. Dangerous encounters. What? <laughs> when the f with the first swing of your laser lariat, the white enemy saucers approach, but there's more. As you progress through the restrictor shield, a sinister collection of aliens will materialize. A new danger is added every other sector up to sector 16. Yeah, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Get it! Yeah. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> It affects games 5 through 8. James was playing 1 through 4. But the left switch makes objects appear much closer. The right switch activated uh, Brutal Mode. And you can only get tough obstacle combos. So on the fixed games 1 through 4, there's no effect. Okay. Whoa, it's close. Uh, sector Craft Vulnerable. White enemy saucers, yes. Brown space debris, no. Yellow chirper ships, yes. Green Yellow. blocker ships, no. Green block block bounce craft. So ah, you're on ah. sector five. So you've had you've seen a yellow. Oh, did I get it? No, I didn't. Damn yellow. It. So those are yellow chirper ships. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. And they are vulnerable to your shots. Which, yes, I did. I did yeah. kill one of them. On level six. Well, what do they do? The they next... don't do anything. They just run across the screen. Yeah. You just get points for them. Nope, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> Sadness. On this next level, there are green blocker ships, and you can't shoot them. Well, with the green your, with your normal down shot. anyway, so... No, there's new ones on this level. Oh, okay. Green blocker ships. There they are. Oh, oh. No, those guys! Oh. So, you can, you so can those add... Cool. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah. Okay, that is... Okay. Sector 6 starts to get a little, uh... A little intense. Okay. <laughs> if you can read... On are you gonna play? Level 8. Okay. My turn. Level where... I don't even know where you're at. What are you talking about? Eight. Eight. Okay, level eight, green bounce craft. No, not vulnerable Not vu vulnerable to shot. Oh my goodness, vulnerable is... is I've had too much wine. Um, <laughs> I've seen people pronounce it vun vulnerable. Vun vulnerable. Vulnerable. Which vulnerable. is incorrect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ten blue chargers, yes, are vulnerable. Oh, what is that word? That I kept keep getting really annoyed by people uh, mispronouncing. mispronouncing. Foyer? No, not that one. No! Oh! You gotta get out of the way. <laughs> now I gotta catch it. Um. Yeah, we have a particular hatred of the word foy foyer, the foyer. Anyway. Yes. Uh, pronounce it correctly. The foyer. Foyer. Not, the foyer. Not foyer. Not foyer. It's an American thing, but um, James. 
messaged me while I was in the car, <laughs> and my Google assistant, he he said the word. Now I'm gonna get it wrong. Foyer. Foyer, but it said foyer, and I said, "Oh God!" The Google assistant pronounces it the American way. Oh, it. Those go to you. Yeah. Oh yeah, they do. Oh. Yeah. And I said, uh, "It makes my skin crawl." And then he just messaged me. Foyer, 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 <laughs> many times in a row, so the Google Assistant would repeat it over and over again while I was in the car. But uh, anyway, I digress. Um, okay, where were we? Uh, level 12, orange trackers. No, not vulnerable. Uh, level 14, red zig bombs. Yes. Zig? Not in the 2600, though. Zig bomb? Zig bomb. Oh, so we don't see that. On this we one. don't see that. 16, magnetic mines. No. Oh, okay. both of those aren't in the 2600 version. Oh, okay. In PA, it is no! pronounced... In P Pennsylvania, it's pronounced no! lobby. Yes, I agree. Lobby. I agree lobby is a totally acceptable term. Everyone can agree on the, on uh, the uh, pronunciation of lobby. Anyway. <laughs> uh, on only vulnerable objects are affected by laser lariats. Saucers and chirpers are destroyed. Chargers and zig bombs are deflected. Interesting. Everything else can only be dodged or, in extreme cases, oh. torpedoed. Don't use your tor torpedoes. Do you ever get your torp torpedoes? Oh, you get them back every, every sector. sector. Yep. Magnetic mines will pull you over unless you keep moving the con control strip. The control stick in the direction opposite the mine. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, magnetic mines. Is there magnetic mines in this game? Uh, it said, or no? It's only in level 16, but it says not in the 2600 okay, version. So, we don't so have I to worry don't about think that. you have to worry about that. You have to get to level 16, too. So. Well, um, we have to get to level 16. Oh, what is the patch? <laughs> yeah. What well, is the patch? It, we'll get to that. I caught it this time. Yeah, he caught it. So I have an extra life, finally. Scoring. I will. I've run out already. I love how the font you have for this looks like a dot matrix printer. It's, it's not my awesome. font. It's awesome. Uh, scoring. Points ah. are scored each time an enemy saucer, chirper ah. ship, or sector sentinel is destroyed. Point values increase as you progress to higher sectors. Uh, the exact point value for each hit appears in red, briefly replacing your score the moment... Oh, this is Coleco version only. Okay. It, uh, <laughs> I'm like, it needs to say that first. Um... Also, if you manage to destroy the Sector Sentinel, you'll receive an additional bonus for each ship in your fleet. I need an extra life. I think there's one every level. Hmm. So the Sector Sentinel, you'll receive an additional bonus for each ship in your fleet. So you want to kind of hit the Sentinel with as many ships as possible. Oh, oh you got what? one and lost one. The hell? What is that? <laughs> Grenums, I also pronounce ombre cor correctly and get funny looks. It's French, not Spanish. Ombre? Ombre. 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 What does that mean? Uh, well, it... it, it uh, I know it in reference to hair color, <laughs> which oh, might be what the Grenums is talking about. Yes, I'm sure that's... Ombre. But ombre would be French. Ah. Ombre would be like, yeah, ombre in Spanish. Yeah, I agree. Although ombre is how s people seem to pronounce the hair. Anyway. Right. Um, so if you went into a hairdresser's, they'd be like, what? I don't think they, I don't think, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so much consternation about pronunciation <laughs> from someone who can't pronounce Shetri? Oh, Chetri. <laughs> Shetri? It's a, a Russian word. Yeah. And but you it, say you don't know what it is. I don't know what it is either. It's for. It's the word for. The, with the word for. But in uh, Russian, but there's like a, there's a pronunciation that we don't have in English for it. Oh, I see. Um, like there's a, a sound. Yeah. Your turn, Darcy. Darcy. Okay. Okay. Oh, you want to, you want to keep talking? Yep. Okay. I almost. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Scoring. It doesn't say anything about what they're worth <laughs> because, oh, screenshot showing beam grid, your ship, game stats on top, how to be a beam rider. Uh, greetings from Sector 26 and moving. If you want to make it to the other sectors, pay attention to these tips. Maintain precise control by learning to tap the control stick to move your ship. A single beam at a time. And stay near the center beams so you won't get boxed into a corner with nowhere to run. Zap the white enemy sauces as, as early in their approach as possible. 
There's your extra ship. Nice. Uh, and check this out. You can hit them when they're slightly off the beam uh, before they can drop their missiles. When you, ca when you see a yellow rejuvenator, don't abandon all caution as you move to catch it, or you'll likely wreck your ship. Get it. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, get uh, it. Oh, no. So hard, because they come right at you. The green ones, yeah. They you block have to, you. You really have to pay attention. She cheery she cheery she cheery she cheery or tear she cheery she cheery are we close she cheery she cheery she cheery i think cheer emphasis she cheery it looks like tear she cheery like no. a teary that sounds about multiple right. tears anyway We'll be, we'll be working on that Shatiri. for the next few, uh, the, fina Shat the next few. <laughs> Shatiri. Shatiri. And I forgot to order that <laughs> game. Well, I just placed an order with Al. Oh, Atari yeah. Atari Age. And I forgot to include that in the order. I was, like, really excited. I have to get the Atari Vox so I can play Wizard of War properly. Mm. And I'm like, ah, oh, order, order, order. And there was a bunch of games that I, I, I always meaning to get. And that is one of them. And I totally forgot to get it, so I'll have mm. to get it in my next round. Hard T. Shatiri. 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 Shatira. Hard T. Shatiri. 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 You're saying ch cheer. I, I, it looks like cheer to me. It would be, it, he would have put. Shatiri. He would have put a C H E E R if it was cheer. <laughs> That's tear. Shatiri. Multiple tears of things. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, uh, while you're on the subject, when the sentinel is about to approach, don't sit on the beam you plan to shoot from. The green blockers will swarm to it immediately. Instead, wait on the beam you're not going to shoot from, like the one nearest to the sentinel's first sighting. And as soon as the blockers are locked under the beam, zip over to an unlocked beam and torpedo the ship. Uh, that makes okay. sense. Okay. That's, that is something you need to practice, for sure. Mm -hmm. It's really challenging but that's a good hint mm. last but not least take time to notice the enemy attack movements they general fo generally follow a pattern of motion that mm -hmm. allows you to anticipate many of their moves oh, oh. yeah uh you're, get you're getting better that's for sure uh pack rat we have not fi we have not gone over the uh patch almost there yet. we're almost there that is the next step yeah like cheese yeah okay Shet so cheery. i was looking up what the patch goal is and I found multiple different answers. Not multiple different answers, but different answers on multiple pages. And I think it's because there's different requirements for different releases of this game. So I'm going to go through what each of the pages say. The Atari Age patch page says 60,000 points in Sector 20. Oh! oh. Who flies like that? Take that guy's license. <laughs> Wikipedia says 40,000 points in Sector 14. The Atari Age entry um, for, for the game says Sector 14 and 40,000. The Intellivision instructions say Sector 20 and 60,000. The ones we just read out, the, the joint Coleco... Atari say nothing. Nothing. And the actual scans that I found mm. for the Atari 20... I don't know about if it is for the 2600 or not. There you go. You, you got it, though. You got the right... That's the worst of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> True. You got the right idea, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. um, so the scan Kenya. says uh, Fort Sector 14... Oh, you're done. Your turn. Yeah, My turn? Yeah. Sector 14 and 40,000 points. 40,000? Jeez. Okay. Yeah. So the Intellivision... Yeah, I have to do this manually. I think I've had too much wine. <laughs> it improves just slightly when you start, and then it and all it goes, goes down. downhill very quickly. It's like me playing pool. Like um, cheese. Ch Chateri. Ch 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 cheese. Ch ch ch. Hard cheat. Hard CH. How are you finding the Javatari, uh, oh, it works Darce? Is it, works it working flawlessly. well? Flawlessly? Oh, to be, yeah. That's awesome. I mean, 
Oh no! Oh! No, I couldn't move. Oh no! Oh no! Sorry, I couldn't hear him. My my bad. Sorry. What'd you say? Darcy? Oh, I just said maybe it has flaws, but I can't tell. They might be like helping me play better. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's not a lot of things no, going on. It feels perfectly responsive. Yeah, that's good. Like it feels perfectly responsive here too. I mean, uh, so it makes sense that it would be because you know. Yeah, it's very simple. It's not. Yeah. It's not sending graphics over the internet. I think it's emulating it on both sides at the same time, right? So it only needs to send the inputs that each person on either, either side is sending. Well, it's like if and you that's... can play a web-based game and it has proper response time, there's no reason we... Like, it should have the same response time for both of us because neither of us is hosting it. <laughs> that's right. true. Um, I think we're both hosting it. I mean, uh, technically it says I'm hosting it. There goes your free life. Oh, oh ship, ship. well, I was yeah. worrying yeah. more about the ships. Why are you watching the stream? <laughs> <laughs> watching the stream? <laughs> You're funny. I'm back. To you can't see the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's why all my uh, exclamations are late. <laughs> oh, man, I'm... Doing terrible. So I'm going to read about Javatari. It does not play every game that you throw at it, unfortunately. This, because we couldn't play the first game. So it doesn't play DPC Plus games. I ex oh, you can hold it continuously. I don't know. It, is that better or is that worse? Uh, ah! If you, and then I'm not paying to attention. Shoot, if you want to shoot your ship accidentally, then maybe. Yeah, that's true. There's deflection, right? Yep. I'm going to play again. Is that okay? Not okay, was, but yes. <laughs> I have one. I, have a I, I, I feel like that was a very terrible round, so I want another shot. <laughs> so this was added um, a couple years ago, the net play. And um, it just came to my mind when, when, you know, people couldn't come over here anymore and we all had to stay at home. I was like, well, I want to continue on with the show with uh darcy and erlen but how can i do that oh you shot your ship i did at least i didn't get killed and then i remembered that this had net play um so we darcy and i gave it a try actually this morning didn't we just for the first time and it worked flawlessly out of the box <laughs> when you got them I don't know how many points they are, but you got them. Yeah, uh, that's not what I was going for, but that's okay. Um, it's cross-platform, HTML5, JavaScript, runs in any browser, Chrome, uh, Firefox, and Safari. It has support for Android and mobile iOS. I don't know if it does net play on those, but that's pretty cool, too. So this is the perfect um, platform that you can play with your friends, since we're all locked down, mm -hmm. over the internet. And what uh, I think you suggested is that we could even have um, guests play Yes, it. Yeah. yeah, that would people be really the, cool. People in the crowd. Yeah. Um, or invite people like, say, um, Dan Kitchen. To, to play, play his to, own game. To play his own game. Yeah. Oh, I did it again. Damn it. I'm just not paying attention to what's coming down. I'm just shooting. Because Crackpots is uh, still a... Work in progress. No, uh, no, that's his old game. Oh, it's his old one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I haven't got the patch for that yet. So what we could do is have Dan on the show, mm -hmm. and he could play Crackpots on the show. That would be so cool. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> ah, ah, shoot. Ah. Shoot. Oh. Ah, that's... You know, before, before you told me the strategy, I, I didn't feel as though it was hard to shoot that thing. No, yeah, and now, now I'm having a terrible time with it. I was, oh, doing much better before. Yeah, you guys were just like, oh, yeah, shoot, shoot. Mm -hmm. And then I was having trouble. Oh, yeah, I got it. It's funny how that is, eh? Nothing worse than thinking. Too much thinking. That's why... Uh, Sometimes that is true. 
That's why a little wine helps and a lot of wine doesn't. Because <laughs> you, you, you cease thinking, overthinking. I mean, the trick is not waiting for it. It's moving to it and shooting it. Because if you're waiting for it, all the... Get it! Oh, oh I did it again! It. I, just, I just see things coming at me and I just shoot them. That's pretty much what Man 2 d says, Is it better to press the fire ah! button or to hold it in? It is... No, it's better to press it. It's better to press yeah. it. Yeah. Because you could accidentally shoot your own... Your extra man. Yeah. This game is actually extremely generous with bonus lives. Yeah. But you don't automatically get them. You have to you have to work for them and not shoot them and not accidentally shoot them ah! but it gives you a lot of bonus lives and used it uh, all up. i know there's not much i can do there that's okay um is so sector 14 40 000 for 2600 patch yes and also there is a tale about the patch itself as well um so i was looking up the patch and i accidentally put out the wrong patch on the graphics and the right patch was never really officially released for the 2600. It was never given out. Because this game was made in 83. Um, so that was right around the Atari crash. Or the video game crash, not the Atari crash. Everything crashed then. Um, and they never sent out any Atari 2600 patches for Beam, for Beam Rider. They did for uh, Intellivision. Because I believe Intellivision oh, came out first. Extra life? Uh, uh, it's too, it's too hard yeah, it was, to get it. I'm just, I'm focused so much on getting like my 15 ships. I'm bullet. just not really paying attention, which is unfortunate. I didn't hear what Darcy said. Trying to get that ship. I could have lost my ship. Yeah. yeah. I am holding the button now. Just ah, I don't know. There's something more satisfying about hitting the button as you play. Sorry. I think it's easier to press it individually. Uh, it's more satisfying. Yeah. There's something more satisfying about smacking that button, but anyway. anyway. Okay. Your turn? Yep. Okay. Was everybody here born before the crash? Um, yes. Most likely. Yes. <laughs> uh, the video game crash of 1983. Ah. 84. 83. 83, 84. Yeah. Winter, 83. Yes. Day, year of 84. Yes. Uh... In the chat, I would guess ninety-five percent of people. <laughs> and and playing the game right now, yes. Yes. Wasn't that like part of like a like a general recession? General discussion. Recession. Ooh. Oh, recession. Mm, I don't. I don't remember I don't reading about remember it being part about, of anything else. Uh, how expensive it was to get a loan in the eighties was very expensive. Well, the interest rates were insane, yeah. from what I recall, in the 80s. Were they like 17% or something ridiculous oh, higher, like that? Higher, yeah, much really, higher. really high. Yeah, Cafe Man 2D, maybe not Ireland. Definitely, Definitely not Ireland. Definitely not Ireland. <laughs> I remember people talking about... I remember when the interest rates were 7%, and people were like, oh my god, I can't believe it's only 7%. So, so cheap. It's so cheap. Houses I mean, are free now. <laughs> it's it was pretty low like relative to historic historical levels i mean you can't count right now where it's effectively zero yeah, but it's been effectively but... zero for a long time <laughs> oh gretams you're so yeah young. It, it has actually been effectively <laughs> zero but now it's like literally zero right almost now, yeah, right yeah, yeah but that's yeah. yeah good job that's something different uh stay over here Yes. Go. Yeah. Good job. <sighs> Nathan Strum, well before the crash. Yeah. Well before. Yeah. yeah. More than a decade for me. No, a decade. Not a more than. A decade. I caused the crash. You caused the <laughs> crash. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh no! I used up all my things. Right away. You used them up accidentally? Yes. Oh, no. I was pressing Well, forward. no sentinel for you. No, I'm just going to have to watch it go by. Yeah. Oh, there's your ship. Oh, there's your ship. Yep. Yay, four lives. That's I a think, good thing. I need I them. I think the ship looks a little too much like the little green boulders that fly down. They do. Or the asteroids. They do. So I tend not to even notice it's there, which is unfortunate. That's the thing it gets mixed up with. But yeah, they're kind of the mustardy. Boulders. They are mustardy instead of green, but I still, they, they're very similar looking. So. They are. Yeah. No, 
out your oh, screws. I forgot. Stuff. Oh, you had a fourth one. Yeah, I did. Wow. Ooh. Oh, Cafe Man TD. Best thing about the crash <laughs> was finding five dollar and ten dollar games in bins at Kmart. Yeah. Oh, I, I wish so. I had a twenty six hundred then and bought all those games. But you still wouldn't um, be able to buy the the really obscure ones mm. because they wouldn't be around too much. You'd be just be finding a thousand copies of E.T. and all the... Uh -oh. No! Oh, oh I no! At least you dodged it. Murder. I shot it like way when it was yeah. way far off. Well, it was a bonus life. I have 4,000? Oh my god. Only 10 times that. That's all you need. That's all I need. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Darcy has it time. Fire! Fire! <laughs> it was the right timing. <laughs> A lot of the games were overpriced. They're overpriced even then, yeah. They were really expensive. Now they're one or two dollars, so. <laughs> oh, if you can find them. Well, the the common Atari games are yeah they're very really very cheap. Ones. Yeah, a dollar. Yeah, it's almost like people will uh, you go into retro gaming stores, they'll just give them to you. Really. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here it comes. Get it. Get it. Yay! Ooh, see that guy was like. Yeah. Hovering around the bottom there. Yeah, usually they're mess. right at the top. Like they follow Changing one patterns. of the um. One of the movement lines. Yeah. Uh, those those uh, things really get in the way. They were all over the place. Yeah. They're coming in from both sides. Oh, sector five, good. Sector six, you're you're you're. But I have to get forty thousand and level fourteen. Yeah. Cafe Man today, I got seventy five percent of my fifty two hundred games what? that way. Yeah, that would be oh, good. Right yep. after the crash. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's hard to it's hard to shoot that mothership. When there's lots oh of things blocking it. Yeah. Now there's these green things all over the place. This is a very cool game. I, I'm really enjoying it, actually. It's lots of action. It is oh, a lot of action. Oh, that's a boulder! Yeah, tons going on. Reminds me a lot I of... Love, I love uh, games that get really frantic. Yep, yep. They're... Like Spider Fighter. Yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, this is a really good game. I'm, I'm amazed I didn't play it before. I've, I've never played this game. I may not even have it, that's why, on cartridge. It's a mm. um, rated a 5, which is, like, uncommon or rare. Or... I oh, I should have gone to the left. Mm. That, that the 40,000 and level 14 means not enough to get to level 14, but you also need 40,000, as opposed to yeah. <laughs> not enough to get 40,000, you also need to get to level 14. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think you get... 40,000 without getting level 14. I, I think you might be right hand. because uh, James is already at 6,000 at sector 6. Yeah. It's like a thousand a sector. Well. Where's my extra life? I don't know. Where's my extra life? It'll be one or the other, right? It, it'll either be hard to get the score or hard to get to <gasps> sector 14. Mush. Oh. Damn it. One more life. One more. I need an extra life. I have a feeling this might be a challenging patch to get. <laughs> uh, so far, yep. Yeah. Not so great. Is Sector 6 the highest we've gotten so far? Uh, Pack Rat VG, this is one of my favorite 2600 games. It is a very cool game. I, I, It feels very arcadey to me. Oh, yeah. Very arcadey. Somebody suggested it in the uh, YouTube comments. Mm. Uh, because I, I mentioned that we're going to do an all patch day today. So they're like, hey, how about uh, Beam Rider? Oh, damn it. Oh, did you... Uh... Used up one of my things. Not that I'm going to hit oh, it. Oh, I thought you hit your free uh, free life. Yeah, you got to keep an eye out for that free life in the, in the higher levels. I didn't levels. even see it at the last level. No. I, did I hit it right I away? Like no where, idea. Where I might have shot it. Oh, Sector wow. 7. <sighs> well, 50% of the way. Getting better. That's pretty good. I yep. can't imagine Sector 14. Your turn, Darcy? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. cannot imagine sec Sector 14. It's pretty crazy. Um, Oyama Family is the gra is the um, the video that I watched to check it out. Um, he got 40,000 at around the 
13 minute mark 12 13 minute mark mm. um let's see yeah there's a uh, the half moon pack oh no <laughs> you gained one and lost it oh yeah sorry i'm gonna run okay run keep talking can you get me a water please uh i have water under here do you want my water sure I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, I'll get it. That's why I, I spilled it. It's just water. It's fizzy water. That's not fizzy anymore. Can you get me water, please? Ah. Yes, please. Dumbness. Dumbness. Just regular, please. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if I have this cartridge. I really don't think I do, but I'm not going to leave the room to go dig it out. But I will dig it out for next time I play it, because I probably won't get the patch this time, but you never know. Um, yep, the patch was never given out, and there's only a handful of them known to exist. And they were discovered in 2006, I think it was. A a handful of them because somebody discovered a whole box of Activision patches. Trying new things is no good. Oh. Trying new things? Oh, sorry. I just started again. I'll just play. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it didn't seem to last it very long, so I'll allow it. Just need to... It's not crazy. I've gotten past Sector 24. Okay. Just need to get the hang of the game. That's it. Half a glass. It's okay. Drunk. Drunk. Only half a glass. Yeah, it's it's all about patterns and understanding how things move and how to avoid, especially the green spikes that come down, like on level six, because they're coming down at you, so you can't stay in one spot anymore after level six. But at least, at least it gives you a lot of practice um, before level 6. Like on this part. Get those green things! <laughs> you got three green things! Yay! <laughs> and it's kind of nice, you only have to shoot 15 ships each level. It's not like it ramps up to 20, then 25, yeah. but it does get harder to shoot them because they move a lot more erratically on the higher levels. And also there's a lot more things getting in your way. And this is a really incredible game for 8K. Really, really, really good. And a lot of variety too. And I can see you accumulating a lot of um, extra ships if you get really good at the game, which would help a lot. Because, I mean, you should be able to get all your extra ships um, no. for quite a few levels. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you had four. That's pretty good. You basically use the force to fool those blockers and shoot the mothership. Yeah, you kind of like wait for it, wait for it, and then move and shoot. <laughs> That's what you have to do. But on the higher levels, the blockers come in from both sides, which makes it a lot more challenging uh, when the mothership comes in. Oh. It's the worst when you don't shoot it and you die. <laughs> Cafe Man 2 d says, not like that, Darcy. <laughs> like that? And not like that. <laughs> I wonder if this is the first ever streamed internet net play Don't Atari 2600. <laughs> what? Just say that it is. Don't look it up. <laughs> it is. Well, I wouldn't be able to look it up. I'd have to look at every stream that ever has ever been done for Atari 2600. <laughs> I guess you could search for it, but I'm, it's not like I'm going to name this, like, using NetStream, <laughs> like, NetPlay, Javatari. I could, but... Is 
So where does uh, the Javatari come from? Who made it? Yeah. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> I'm curious, because that's, that's kind of a cool uh, tool to put on the internet. It is. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, one contributor. Okay. And their name is... Oops. Loading. Loading. Oh. Thinking about it. I was too far away from, from the areas that I just... No, I missed. I missed seeing it. I didn't even know it was in that lane. You were getting inundated by those uh, green asteroids, no! too. No! Oh, that uh -huh. was close. It's not loading. Oh, there we go. P-P-E-C-C-I-N. Um, doesn't yeah, have his real name. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. No. It's just made made by one guy. Has his picture. <laughs> I could do a reverse uh, image search and. Uh, that's okay. Try and find him. No, it's very cool. Which I just did. I didn't know you could do that on this program. Let's mm. see. Good night, folks. Time for me to hit the sack. Congratulations, James, on the tire tracks yeah, patch. thank you. Thank for, you very uh, much for making it, Muddy Funster. Muddy Funster. It yeah. is such an awesome game. I it just is. have to say, it is such a fun game to play. Your turn. My turn? Oh, that's hard with one arm. It is a very heavy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Do you have to reset it? Oh, Darcy, can you reset it yeah. for Tanya? There we go. Thank you very much. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. His name is Paulo, P-A-U-L-O-P-E-C-C-I-N. So thank you to uh, Paulo, 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 Paulo Pekin. How do you print? How do you spell it? His first name P-A-U-L-O. U-L-O. Paulo. Paulo. Yeah. Uh, Pekin. Pessin. Pessin. Pekin. Don't know. Um, so awesome. He allowed us to do this. Oh, and he's got Web MSX as well. It looks like he's done that to a, a number of, uh, uh, well, just two. So he's done a oh, MSX uh, online emulator as well. Terrible. Very, very cool. Um, last time he updated this program was three months ago, December 20th, 2019. So, oh, ran right into it. Javatari 5.0 brings NetPlay in which any number of users may connect and control the same virtual Atari console. So you can have more than one player. Mm -hmm. You can have infinite, or maybe not infinite, but a lot. Uh, to access this feature, open the NetPlay control dialog available in the system menu power button. One user must be the server, we're the server this time, and start the NetPlay session. Just choose a name for the session or let the emulator gener generate it randomly. Then hit host. Once the session is started and active, the other users may join the session simply by entering the same session name and hitting join. All users connected have complete control over the machine, except that only the server may load change media files. All features of the emulator work during net play. Any client user may leave the session at any time, but only the server may end the session completely. Be careful not to make your session public. <laughs> Anyone that knows your session name will be able to join while it's active. Mm. Send the session name only to people you want to invite. So I could just say... Hey, every, we're playing this and everyone joins. Everyone can join. Oh, that's funny. Everyone can play. That would be kind of funny, actually. Actually, you could play... Yeah. That'd be chaos. That'd be chaos. Maybe, maybe. But if everyone was cooperative, we could take turns. Yeah. Whoever gets the controller plays. Yeah, whoever hits it first. Well, not first. Everybody can tr control this thing at the same time. Yeah. That's the problem. Oh, at the same time? Really? Yeah. Darcy could mess you up right now. Oh, could, no. Don't you dare. I don't want to get in oh, that was very oh, bad. There's a ship. There's a ship. Oh, wow. I know. It, it, yeah. it uh, unfortunately... <laughs> He did. was dangerous. Yeah, it was, it was a very dangerous position. Yeah, it was. Uh, another way of sharing your session to users is sending them a link, which we did. Makes it a lot easier. Netplay is <gasps> completely... Why did I do that? Oh. Netplay is completely dependent on network quality. The lower the network latency between the users, the better. High, by, higher band... Oh, you're dead, dead? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh. 
It's okay. Can you reset, Darcy? Oh. <laughs> I love it. It's just it. easier for me. <laughs> I have to do a couple things. So you were upset that it was fizzy water that wasn't fizzy anymore? It was flat fizzy water, which is much worse than tap water. Or much worse than just water. It's still fizzy. I don't know it's, what he's talking it's about. It's got a it's tiny still fizzy. bit of... It's like flat pop. Mm -mm -mm. It, it tastes like flat, flavorless pop. It's fizzy water. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's It's got a certain taste to it. No, it's fine. Okay, well, we'll do a taste test <laughs> next time. And I'll serve one glass of flat fizzy water and one that's not. No! Terrible. It's karma for you debasing the fizzy water. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> no! Why did I shoot that? At least I hit at something. They can hide. They can hide to the side of the screen. Yeah, they can. I don't like that. Yeah. They and can. then they then they tend to right at last minute run right into you. <laughs> if they go to the side, they'll frequently go right into yeah, it. So if you're whoosh. in that side, if you're in that side position, yeah, they will try to. They'll kamikaze you. Whoa! Yeah. Like that. Yeah, like that. Mean. Very mean. Oh, when you kill the last guy, the screen does not clear. <laughs> no, it does not. It, does not <laughs> no. it just keeps going. It will clear if you kill the Sentinel, though. I, at least well, I went to the next to, level. Um, yeah. Because you have to kill the spaceship. So yeah, the big Sentinel, end. yeah. Yeah. It's not just that it doesn't clear, but it's not over yet. Uh, I, yeah, it's not over yet. But I did pass the level because the yeah. big spaceship came on the screen. Yeah, from a distance, the rocks look the same as your extra ship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think if you're if you're not paying attention, it's easy to. And I'm quite dodge sure that's him. very deliberate. Oh, yeah. Because they don't want to make it too easy to figure out which one is your extra life. Well, I don't know. I think I think it's just brown. that they're yellow and green. They are different colors, but they're not that different looking, unfortunately. Get out of here. See, the thing is, like, I started to figure out uh, the ships, and uh, Tanya, you haven't gotten it down yet because you're not seeing them. But you're still doing way better than me, despite the fact that you're not getting bonus ships. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so the, the I, it's funny. That the you're following that doesn't get you ships is still superior. Still superior. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing was, the first couple of rounds I did, I was getting them, every, like, I was doing really well. Yeah. And for some reason, my brain has flipped over to just avoidance. What like, was I'm that? in avoidance mode, so I'm trying to avoid them, but... Yeah, I, d I don't know. I don't know. The guy just, like, ran... Like, was not right next to I me. I know. They will run into you. They are little kamikaze, kamikaze ships, so... Yeah. They will uh, suddenly go for they you. do not value their lives. No. No. They, they do not. Ship. There it is. Oh my god, what? Why is it appearing there? <laughs> That's crazy. And that is mean. That is mean. That's the worst time. It, that is mean. For sure. So mean. Oh, Sorry, I, I can't hear you. I have Darcy. to go? Sorry, I couldn't hear you? Was that your one per that level? Yeah, it was right at the end. I wonder what very, very is. late. Packrat is just saying they have to run. Uh, good luck with the astronomer patch. Oh, friends. thank you, Packrat. Yes. Um, he is uh, the person who sells uh, Strammer uh, on his website. Oh, nice. He, he Lovely. Runs, uh, he runs a uh, distribu distribution oh. for Atari 2600 games. Very cool. To run almost all 2600 games on a browser with stellar accuracy, with visit 6502TSGTHUBIO. No net play, however. Yeah, well, that's... Yeah. Yes, there, there are other online emulators. Mm. Um, this is, does not emulate everything. 
This doesn't this doesn't do DPC plus and a bunch of other styles of um, architecture of games. So, but I moved twice over. But it does do net play, and that's why we're using it. <laughs> Um, in the early early days of, um, oh, I couldn't, I just couldn't, ridiculous. it was packed in. Mm. In the early days of multiplayer gaming, um, there was no such thing. <laughs> mm. um, but there, uh, not multiplayer gaming, what I mean is internet gaming. But there was LAN gaming. That's what came first. LAN gaming, yes. Yeah, LAN and so you were on this... When the internet like was real and legit and like rolling in like around 95, you could play. I remember playing Duke Nukem 3D over the internet. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And it was uh, it, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, you get lots of bonus. Um, but I was going to tell the tale of how it came about, how you could play them over the internet by kind of um, hacking it. Um, so what... Uh, the program was um, one of them was called Cali. Um, I think there was another one as well. Um, uh -oh. oh no! Mm. It's a shame. Ah! Mm. Oh. But what it did, what these programs did, was uh, pretend you were in a LAN environment and kind of emulated a LAN environment over the internet. And but you had to play like install a third party piece of software I remember to do when it. We used to have LAN parties, and like the first, well, it wasn't always the first half hour to an hour, but the first half hour to an hour was involved certain people who were who had drawn the short straw that day, and <laughs> yeah. their network cards just didn't connect for whatever reason to the, into the random network. <laughs> so those people, whoever they were, it would be random. It wasn't the same people every time. They'd have to <laughs> install and uninstall their network card until it worked. Because that's the over thing. and over. What's that? Sometimes open up their computer. Yeah, open the computer, take it out, put it back in, uninstall Ch it. Change positions. It. Yeah, uninstalling and reinstalling network drivers yeah. was like a pastime. I if you was, did. was both awesome and terrible at the same time. It was awesome because yeah, it's, you didn't have to fiddle with any settings. You didn't have to punch in IP addresses. You didn't have to do anything. It was, it was sort of like DHCP, but but there was no DHCP. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You just didn't have to do anything. It was all auto-sensing. Yeah. But it just... I think it was more the cabling than anything else. I found the cabling was really annoying because you had to terminate it properly. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we and always it just... had, it was, it was always somebody's, it was never, it was never a case of, <gasps> damn it. Um, what happened there? I pressed the wrong button and it fast forwarded. Oh, that's what it did. Sorry. Oh, I see. It was never I'm like, that was kind of nuts. I don't know. <laughs> it just went crazy. Yeah. Wow, uh, what I happened? <laughs> <to, laughs> I'm not a Damn it! <laughs> yeah, there's buttons for rewind and fast forward. Oh. And I and the one right beside it is fast forward. Which is it really? Not the one I wanted. No. That's for sure. Oh oh oh! There's a green thing. You're in sector eight. Oh my oh, god! And I can't shoot it. Can you shoot that? No. Nope. No. Nope. It just kind of dives. Bounces around. Oh, that's. Dives that's... at every spot <gasps> there is. This is insanity. Yeah, not a great enemy. I don't like it too much. I want yeah. that. Oh. Oh. Easy go. Yeah. <laughs> And it went. And there it is again. You kind of have to like go. Oh my god! Best game so far. Yeah, Sector Eight. Pretty good. Darcy. Yep. We playing again? I'm gonna play at least one game. One more or two more. Okay, we'll do one more round. Okay, and then, I'll, then I'll play I'm, once more. Because we have, have to soon. ask astronomer too, right? Sorry, Darcy. I have to go soon. I have to go soon. Oh, okay. Um, that's it's, that's uh, fine. It's TV time. It's well, TV time. time. <laughs> Scheduled TV that's right. time. That's right. That's right. Okay. Are you gonna play one more game, or are you gotta go now? 
Uh, well, I could play one more game, but if you're not ready to switch, then I'll just go and you continue playing. Oh, we're not ready to switch yeah, yeah, yet. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, like one more round of this. Or you, you got to go. No, I got to I'll, I'll, I'll go. Okay. Well, that was a very, very cool uh, yeah. experiment, yeah, it and it worked. Cool. Yep. And this game really is um, really cool. <laughs> it is really fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good game. So we could probably do this again next Friday sure, yeah. um, at, with at least one game. Yep. Yep. Um, because it doesn't work with all games. So, um, so I'll try and schedule at least one game, and then you can hop in. All ready. All ready. Okay. Well, have a good night. All ready. And, uh, Enjoy your TV time. <laughs> I will. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. See you. Bye. Bye See you. Darcy. Bye. There we go. And click off Darcy. There Cat we go. cam is back on. Cat cam's back on. That worked it very well, though. It did. Very, very well. One of these is reset. Is it? Pause. Slow motion. Fast forward. Nope. Nope. No, I just have to do it there. That's fine. Or do you want to play? You play. Okay. You play. I'm going to play two more games. Two more? And okay. Gonna go. I'll let you play two because uh, you're you're getting excelling. better. Excelling. Uh, uh, I, I think my highest sector was four or five, so I'll let you play a couple of games, and then we'll move to astronomer, I guess, after that. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing it's about a getting fun game though. It's really it fun. Is. It's really, really, really fun. Good thing about getting better at the game is that the earlier levels seem easier, mm. which means I can get more lives. Mm. Um, luckily, lives don't depend on score. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't get it because that is worth a lot of points, actually. Mm -hmm. Feel like people are dropping out now. <laughs> Darcy's <laughs> dropped out. People in the chat have dropped out. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's fine. What are people doing <laughs> with their time? When they're dropping out? That they don't have time to watch Zero Page Homebrew. I know. What are you what are you doing? Like, come on. It's almost like they have You have nowhere to go. You're not allowed on the streets. <laughs> Right? You have to stay in your homes. Remain calm. Yes. Are you actually spending time with your families? <laughs> Come on, people. Lies. <laughs> you are trying to get away from them. Come on. <laughs> Admit it. Actually, how how have people been spending their time? Are you still... <laughs> Grenham says drinking and ruminating on poor life choices, mostly. It's <laughs> <a> good pastime. <laughs> that's, that's all you have to do during a lockdown. I mean, let's face it. Ah. Come on. Oh, damn it. But I'm, I guess, I'm guessing you're <laughs> glad you moved when you did. Grenham's, yeah. Um, are you happy where you are now? And glad you moved before this all happened. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been yeah. just... A nightmare, yeah. Just, just terrible. Yeah, how do you like your new location? Yeah, very glad. We love it here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. How do you like being so close to the epicenter, or one of the epicenters, <laughs> yeah. of the terrible outbreak? Yeah. Well. I mean, we're, we, we are too. We are too, of yeah. Of Canada. We're vying we're, for first place. Yeah. It's fluctuating day to day between um, Toronto and, 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 uh, Vancouver. and Vancouver. Yeah. Um, well, I like it better than being in metro yes. area with five million people. Yes, that's true. Yeah, we're we're in a big metro metropolitan. You get area. a lot of points for extra lives. Oh my uh, goodness, you have five extra lives. That's very fancy. <laughs> What'd she say? Uh, she said, "Well, I like it better than being in a metro area with five million people." Yeah, that's true. You're yeah. not. You're, you're not, not you're, in. You're, you're not in not, a very, very busy area. Not populated. So, yeah. so you're kind of away from the epicenter. Yeah. Of the mm -hmm. yeah. Extra life. 
I wonder how many extra lives it can display. Mm. So technically, it should only be six, but I think it displays more than that. So. Ah. Get it! Get it on the edge there. Yeah, that's where you have to get it. It's right on the edge. Let's see. And you get a bonus. I think for extra mm. for things you have left Look over. at this all! Six! Yes. Good lord! Yeah, you do have to get them all. That's how you win the game. Yeah. That's how you get you progress. Points. Yeah, yeah, and get the points. Get get your forty thousand. I do like this game. It is a nice looking game. Yeah, really smooth. Really fun to play. Really great looking. Um, lots of variation. Probably a pretty big hit of a game. When it came out. <laughs> Metal Lunar 7, ha ha ha. 2020 was the year I planned to travel more. I know that's a poor poor choice, unfortunately. Yeah, we had plans too. We um, we still have not plans. Huge plans. I'm not sure if uh Nope. If that's gonna happen, nope. but we'll see. I have some news today. Oh really? Um not the news you'd think. It's not cancelled. No? No. Uh, you're being very cryptic, so <laughs> probably <laughs> Oh. oh no! You lost one of your seven lives! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gretams, finally in the state I wanted to live in since my early teens. Oh, my really? best friend to ride out the storm with. Plus fun stuff to watch like you two being frustrated by meteors. Yeah. Yep. Damn, meteors! Yeah. <laughs> I cursed us. Yeah, Metal Lunar 7, yeah. Well... I figure roughly every 20 years something terrible happens, so... <laughs> well, this is 100 years. Huge, no, but things. you look at uh, September 11th. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of figure there's 20-year cycles for these things, so... Oh, um, no, 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 you can't act the oh. same. You can't act the same on these levels. Mm -mm. Getting extra lives. You have to wait mm -hmm. in a lane that you're not in first. Oh, did I finish that level? No, I didn't. We I also want to point out, well, in BC at least, we've had tremendous sunny weather. And my memory of September 11th uh -huh. was how gorgeously sunny that day was. Oh. And, uh, I don't know, there's just something about a lot of sunshine and... Yes! Ooh, good job! Sunshine and terrible news? <laughs> and, and, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird, I I've always preferred the, the rain, of it. and that's probably why I live on the west coast. So. <laughs> Prefer the rain. Yeah. It's getting worse. Mm. Damn it! Doing better points-wise, that's yeah. for sure. I'm also a big fan of garbage, and their hit song <laughs> was "Oh, I'm only happy band. when it when it rains." Yeah. Oh, okay. So there I you thought go. you meant garbage. No. I was like, well, move to New York then. No, <laughs> no. There's lots of garbage on the streets in New York. No, no, no. But uh, that's one of their hit songs uh, from yes. the '90s. From the. 90s. And I'm dating myself. So yeah. There you go. Oh, babies! Uh, you're yeah. up by seven. You're in sector seven, though. Yeah, I got to Sector oh, 8 last time. I though. know. Do it. Oh, this is this is so frantic right now. It is. The, the white ships are really crazy on this level. Well, they're crazy, but also there's so much blocking them. Got it. Oh, you got it. Good job. Oh! Damn it! Terrible. Yeah, yeah. Gretem says the same thing. The juxt juxtaposition of beautiful weather with terribly life-consuming tragedies. Yeah, I'm with you on the rainy weather. Yeah. I, uh... Something, something about that. I don't know. Last one, I think. There we go. <gasps> mm. Damn it! Damn it! You're in sector eight, though. Yeah. Be ten thousand. Forty. I, I I I. Forty. I I think you need to practice a hell of a lot to get to forty for this game. I don't know. Forty is is oh. Sector oh, eight. Okay. Yeah. Was that one game? And there's one more. 
Yeah. 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 So we got ten thousand and something. So. <laughs> I like how he looks to me. <laughs> uh, Is there an X on the screen? There we go. Uh, Cappy Man TV in PA liquor spirit stores are controlled by the state and all ordered to close. You can oh. buy beer and wine in grocery stores though. Yeah, uh, oh, okay, yeah. that's loosened a bit in BC in the last little while. Yeah. Still can't. <laughs> right, my condolences. Um, uh, we, we can buy them I in some stores. I grew up in Ontario and Canada and it was all uh, it was all uh, basically the LCBO and uh, the beer store, which is all controlled by Ontario, and I think it still might be that way there. In BC, they loosened it, so they allowed a lot more private um, companies. No Jim Beam or haircuts for eight weeks, yeah. Yeah, um, Yeah, that's a problem. That is a problem. Uh, Damn it. We still have our liquor stores open here, so yep. even our government-controlled ones, but we do have private ones as well. As well. Uh, the haircuts thing, uh, I I laughed out loud when a friend of mine uh, posted a meme about uh, don't cut your own bangs. And I was thinking to myself, damn it, I'm going to have to cut my own bangs. Because uh, <laughs> you, you have bangs right now. I have bangs right now and uh, they're already getting long and I should have probably made uh, the effort to go see my hairdresser. But uh, what can you do? Uh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh, this game's not going to go well. Oh, <laughs> no. You don't know that. Um, yeah, yeah, it's kind of nuts. I mean, no one really knows how long these prohibitions are going to last for. You can estimate them quite well. Yeah, I'm at glad. Least, at least as long as other countries. I'm glad when we went to Cuba a few oh. years ago, I bought a lot of rum. That's all <laughs> I can say. Yep. Um, I still have my stock bottle. Credum's got her hair cut. <laughs> a week before. Very yeah. lucky. Very lucky. I needed yeah. it when the shutdown happened. I know. And he said that I'm going to have to shave the side of his head, which Probably is a little... Uh, Daunting. Uh, that's, uh, I was going to say that's uh, why people get divorces, is <laughs> based on your guts. Uh, no, um, yeah, that is daunting. The graphics of... No! Don't hold down the button. It's a bad idea in this game. Cafe Man 2D says, uh, I was out hoarding TP. I should have got a haircut instead. You're part of the problem. <laughs> Don't be part of the problem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was funny. I... Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop playing things on your phone. Not. Seeing, seeing how many people are watching. <laughs> oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, stop holding down. Holding down is not a good idea. Well, holding down it's works kind of a good idea. when you're not too... It's not too busy, but... The, I don't know. There's something more satisfying about smacking that button, so... It, the problem is you shoot your own ship sometimes. Do you? When? Oh, when the ship comes down. There you go. Get it. Yeah, good job. Yeah, now I can hold it down. Yeah, several people I know have cut their own hair in the last few days. Yeah, well, I, I'll Damn wait it. it out, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I can do my own banks. I have yeah. done them before, yeah, a long time ago. Watch some internet uh, instructionals on doing your own banks. Uh, well, thank God YouTube exists. <laughs> we wouldn't know how to do half the things we need to do. That's if, right. If we didn't have it. Living in the future. Learned a lot of stuff from YouTube. I know, me too. Learned from other people's mistakes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oof. Extra life. Oh, avianographer. I love Atari Homebrew. Thank you for joining us. Yes, welcome uh, to the show. Yeah. Uh, do you get bonus points at the end of level based on number of extra ships in stock or not? Yes. Or if you shoot the sentinel, you do. Yeah, if you shoot the sentinel. If you yes. don't shoot it, you don't get you any don't points. Get, you don't get... So this this dude at the top here, if you get him, you get extra points for your lives. But I didn't shoot him, so I get nothing. You yeah. get like 400 points for each extra life you have left if you shoot it, mm. which is pretty good. It adds up quite a lot. Oops. Damn it. 
Jones. Damn it! Got confused. <sighs> this, this is this a homebrew game? No, no. No, I this didn't from think 83. so. Yeah, that's what I thought. It, it's it'd be an amazing homebrew game oh, too. Yeah. Like it is a beautiful game. Beautiful. Yeah. With the lines coming towards you. Yeah, I like that. I love the. What do you call it? Force perspective? Like the, yes. Yeah. Oh. 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 I might as well give up. Sector now. six. No, you still have three lives. Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it is one of the rare times we were playing an old game. Yep. It's because we're doing patches. We is, do patches is, once in a while. Patch yeah. challenges. Yeah. Is it uh, Astronomer an original game or is it? A it's homebrew? a homebrew. It is it's a homebrew. A homebrew. Okay. Yeah. Oh! I went right and then left, and I yeah. hesitated. It is a lot of fun. Yeah, this game is incredible. Yes. Really good. Great replay value. Yes. Um, it's not, like, boring or tedious. Ugh. Out of bullets. Out of bullets! <laughs> Graham says this is becoming stressful to watch. I'm leaving in this ship. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge! <laughs> yeah, it is. It is not an easy game, mm. especially when the green spikes come on the regular levels, because you constantly have to move and not get trapped in the corner, and they're shooting you. Yeah. No, you do. Well, you have limited ammo for um. What do you, what do you call them? The missiles. The so big the missiles. the purple uh, squares at the top. Uh, you have limited missiles to kill the sentinel at the end. Yeah. Um. But yep. other than that, you yep. have unlimited shots. So, yeah, unlimited yeah. bullets. I'm going to go f uh, steal a cat. Uh, okay. The gray one. No! Oh, no! Shot my ship. Oh, and I was cornered. <laughs> Two baddies left to shoot. The green number in the top left is number of white ships that left that you have to kill. There we go. I shot it. Oh, I got it! But I have no bonus. Because I have no but lives left. Zero! Oh, tiny bonus. Like a hundred points. Terrible. You have limited ammo. Oh, you've already answered that. Okay, this level is hard. Because there's that green bouncy thing that traverses every single spot on the board. Oh. So you have to get in oh, between it. Oh, he's terrible. And it comes back and every he, level. And he, he um, ricochets back to your position, right? So. Yep. And he goes back and forth across the board. So I've oh. never gotten past this level. Oh, oh and he's baby. back again. Okay, baby. Damn oh, no! it! That's it. I did worse. Seven. I, you did over 10,000 last time. Because I got a lot of bonus on, last baby. time. Nope. He's like, nope, 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 nope. The funny thing is I stole one cat and the other cat came down anyway. <laughs> come on. Come on. They like to follow each other. Come on, baby. Okay, so we're on to our next and last game, uh, which is Astronomer, which is also a patch game, but it is a patch uh, homebrew game, of mm -hmm. which there are very few. Four. And some of them don't actually even have patches yet. But they But they promise patches. Patch. I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> well, you're going to get better. Hold down the button. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's switch it over. Avianographer said, do you only play Atari Homebrew or do you play Homebrew in other systems as well? We mostly play Atari 2600 Homebrew, um, but we do play homebrew from other systems uh, once in a while. But a 2600 is one of the most active homebrew scenes out there. Um, so, And I love the 2600, so that kind of goes hand in hand really nicely. Mm -hmm. um, so here we go, Astronomer. And you remember how to play? Vaguely. Okay. Do you want to go first? And talk, I'll no, I'll you read. play and talk through it because okay. I remember this game. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh, it is on wrong thing let's see oh it was on let it was on a a <gasps> advanced so we were playing that game on a no we weren't because it was on the internet 
Yeah. We're playing tire tracks on A, but it didn't matter because, okay. Okay. You're all happy. I'm all happy. Everything's fine. <laughs> I was almost happier because I was like, oh, we're playing advanced version of uh, Beam Rider. Therefore, mm. it should have been easier. No, never mind. Okay. So you're an astronomer and you're taking pictures of stars. And you can see the yellow thing moving across the sky, the yellow dot. That's the star you're taking photos of with your telescope. Now, the yellow beam is your telescope, what your telescope can see. And you have to watch the star for a certain period of time to be able to get to the next star. And that is measured by the green bar on the bottom left. There, and I filled up the green bar. Can't quite see the star yet. There we go. And the white things are clouds that can obstruct your view. Stinky cats. I can smell stinky cats. <laughs> um, so if you hit the clouds, um, it resets your green back a bit or a all the bit. way. Yeah, a little bit. So you want to stop. So you have to stop. Do not like continue. So you have to wait for the clouds to pass by. This one might get in the way, actually. Well. Eventually. So you have to stop just before. But you do want to maximize your time with the star. Because you, you're losing points the whole time you're not on the star, right? Um, or not points, you're always but you're, losing you're timing points. down. Damn it. You're timing down. Always timing down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh. It's it's very much a game of do anything. luck too. What happened? Nothing. Oh, because it 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 finished a day. That's why you could lose all the, you lose your whole mm. thing for the day. Funkus says I remember you guys playing this a long while back. Yeah, we played it because I can't read out when we played it last because I'm playing. <laughs> Usually I do. But the the points go down. You gain points when the day ends. Yeah. So you get more points when the day ends. It adds to the points you already have. But the points, it's almost not points. It's more like keeping it's you time. alive. It's time. It's keeping you alive. You want to keep alive for as long as you can, right? Yeah. How do you get the patch? 20. 20 stars. 20 stars. How do you get, how do you know you have 20 stars? It tells you at the end how many you get. You should do it every level. But, or at the top. 20 is a lot. It is. See, that is an easy level. But some of them are not easy. Some of them are very hard. This one's going to be a little bit easier because there's only one cloud and a slow-moving star. So I'm messing up. And a fast-moving cloud, which means it won't block as long, which is good. A slow-moving big cloud, that's the worst. <laughs> of course, that My star started... Character. That star started almost like one quarter of the way in the day. Mm -hmm. So that's not good. But clouds didn't get in the way. Good, 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 good. This can also be played with the paddle. Mm, is it which, faster? It's faster to position. That's kind of good, actually. Because I find... I find it's harder to, to do it, though. You have to swing back. Yeah. That's the advantage of swinging back, but I find it very finicky mm. and hard to position because the paddle dictates the absolute position of it. So it's very, very touchy. <gasps> Lost it all. Not much. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. It's a lot slow moving star, which is good, and fast moving clouds. Ugh. One. Oh, my timer. I lost my timer. You're Eleven, what? which is my best score Eleven. ever so far. Oh, really? You have to I think 20? I tied it. Yep. Sweet Jesus, this is bananas. It is bananas. Bananas, B A N A N A S. Uh, so this is a 4K game. It was put out, first posted 2017. This is from October 2018. Um, other games, Cool Crab is made. Besides Astronomer, is Monkey King. And that is a fun game too. Fun two-player game. Uh, 
you can download this in the Atari Age forums. We last played it February 8th, 2019, so a year ago. Um, this was also released in the, uh, included in the first release of the Retron 77. When we first played it, July 9th, 2018. Um, oh my goodness. So, fill the health bar before the score reaches zero. Don't observe clouds. Those are the two instructions. Flip the left difficulty to A for playing with paddles, B for joystick. Okay, we knew that because we had to flip it. Flip the right difficulty switch for extra time on the telescope. Ooh. So extra time when you flip to A. Hmm. Uh, game mode one gets harder with standard increments. Game mode two has more random levels. So there's two ways we could actually make this easier, possibly. Is ran game mode 2 has random levels because... So it may be harder randomly, but it won't keep getting harder. So we can try that. And we can also try game mode... Um, the difficulty switch as well. Because you can earn the patch on any setting. All you have to get is um, 20. And uh, 28 points is the world record, unless it's been beaten. And that was, and that's held by S. Ramirez 2008, who is oh, really? a viewer of the show. So he kicks ass on this game. Yeah, clearly. But you have to get 20. And he, the world record holder, only has 28. Really? So that tells you how damn hard it is. Damn hard. Damn hard. To win, you need a score of 20 in any game mode and send in a screenshot to the email in the flyer. I don't have the flyer because <laughs> I don't have this game because I didn't buy it, unfortunately. Oh, six. Six. I had a hard time with that. That was... It's kind of a crazy game. <laughs> it is. Yep. It's weird. The, even the it's concept of it. I don't know who... It's one of these games where you kind of wonder... Is The person who developed it must be an astronomer who has a telescope oh, wow. who went, Oh, here's an idea for a game. Because it's such a kind of weird concept for a game. It is. Very unusual. Very, very unusual. So I just set it to mode 2. Mm. Which is random difficulty. Mm. for each level. So that may result in a bunch of hard ones mm. in a row. But they won't get harder. They'll just keep being random. And I just tried the the difficulty switch. Mm. It actually makes it you start with 130 instead of 150. So it's not good. It's not good. So you don't want to do that. Hi, sweetheart. Come on, come on. Oh. Wait for the clouds to pass. Go, go, clouds. Ah, ah, go down here. There we go. Come on. No, no, no. That is not what you want. No, that's what that's happened to me worst. last time, too. 90. So you lose a ton. Yeah, a unfortunately. Ton. And it starts over. But that that's what happened to me. It's pretty much game over if you miss a day. Well, and, and sometimes it's just completely random. It's like you gotta let them go. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame, but it's completely random. Yeah. See, I don't even. I I can keep going for a little while, but I'm gonna lose. You're gonna. You're gonna. Yeah. There you go. Mm, maybe. Oh, this one's level. This level's easy. <laughs> Good. Dunkus. It's training the next generation of astronomers to face off against SpaceX's thousands of <laughs> low-orbit Starlink satellites. Uh, <laughs> ah. Yeah. I didn't know they were uh They have low orbit uh, satellites? Yeah, I'm sure they do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. This might be easier, this uh, game mode. Because if this is random, not doing too bad. Except for that one level. That would have been doing really good. So You're this, okay for a while. This level would be a good level for the paddle because then you go whip. But right now I have to go. Mm. 
No, 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 no! We're now back. I'm dead. And ten punishment. No. Yeah, you're screwed. Six! That's what I... Oh, eleven was the best score. Do you want to try this mode? Sure. Okay. We'll play a couple games with this mode and and see how randomly good it is. All right. I think they have kitty. three between 300 and 400 of them deployed now. Astronomers are always already complaining that they are blocking their telescopes. Wow. I, I didn't even know about that. Are they what are they being used for? This are they being using used for um um internet all over the world? Oh, terrible. Cuz that's what I'd been reading for years and years and years. A ton of what happened? Did it oh, I just, I'm so blocked by uh, oh. clouds. Did you miss a day? Yes. Oh, no. Look at this! Bullshit! Oh, three in a row! You can get a touch in there, but not much. Too dangerous. Uh, to bring internet to the masses, yeah. What is this? <laughs> what is this garbage? Space... I'm not even going to get like two. Spaced out. You'll make it to the day, but. Possibly. Look at these fast flying clouds. This is garbage. What character is on James' shirt? Looks familiar. Nope, not Tron. It is the mascot of Intellivision. It's the Intellivision Running Man. Because there's a new Intellivision coming out um, later this year. It's 2020, right? Yeah. November or October this year. Still waiting for a list of um, oh, this one's gonna be hard. A list of the hardware release, like the games that are gonna be released in physical form. Um, they haven't announced which ones. That's gonna be the deciding factor. Ooh, good job. Barely. Look at this. Start right away. Ooh, flip over. Oh, terrible. Oh. I do not understand what the goal is. Okay. Um, the yellow thing that's traversing <gasps> the sky. Four. That was terrible. Maybe we, have oh. to, maybe we should switch back to the Horrible. other one. The yellow thing that's traversing the sky is a star. <sighs> and your telescope is the beam of light. Mm -hmm. And you're taking pictures of the star. The white thing is the clouds. And you have to take pictures of the star enough to fill up your green bar there. It's on the lower left-hand corner. And it's filling up, and I got it. And then you go to the next level. <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand it at first either when we first played it a long time ago. It was like, this is a weird game. Mm -hmm. and you have to wait for the clouds to pass. Yeah, you lose, you lose time, essentially, points. If you take a picture of the cloud, your whole thing's ruined and you have to start from scratch. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Oh, perfect. So you definitely want to avoid the clouds as much po as possible. Perchance? You're so cute. Yes, you are. So you don't even want to get close to the clouds. So that one was an easy one. So the clouds are moving the same speed mm -hmm. as the star. The hard ones, the star is fast. And it starts in the sky already. This one's not going to be good because there's three clouds, but I started off pretty good. Might be able to get it in time before the clouds come back. Come on. Come on. Oh, I wrecked it. See, I, I took a picture of the cloud, which wrecks your picture of the star. Now I'll get it, but still not too bad. Or maybe I won't. Mm -mm. Took a tiny picture of the cloud. It was mad at me for a second. Mm-hmm. Oh, terrible time. Mm. Yeah, I had that and it just destroyed me. Yeah, that was the one. Eleven you had. has been your max. Yep. Last time and this time so far. It's extremely random. And the three clouds, the three fast moving clouds, by far the worst. Yep. That's by far the worst pattern. Yep, because there's mm -hmm. so big a space in between them. So you can kind of get a little bit in between. Oh, got it. 
So it was Good worth job. it doing that little bits yeah, in between. You're doing very well this time. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Getting there. Wondering, Esther Mears isn't with us tonight, but I was wondering what what game mode he got his on. Whether it was this game mode? Oh, God. Oh. That's going to be really tough. Or if you're going to have to swing. <gasps> Damn oh, it. No! Done. Dead. Game's Think. over. Yep. Don't have enough time left. Left. It's going to be. And you're going to go plink. Back to zero. Oh. Oh, 17. No. No. Get it. Get it. Get it. Can't even get it yet. Oh. There we go. Two. Oh, one. No. Oh. Eight. No, I think we're going to go back to the old game mode. What's the other game mode, though? It just gets harder. Gets harder? Rather than... Mm. Rather than random. Mm. Read a little bit more about this. All these bands saying that they're going on tour. So it's like programs installed mm. to tell me when bands go on tour or when they have shows nearby. And I keep getting updates. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna buy tickets. You're crazy. Well, even, they're hurting right now, right? Even for months away, I'm not gonna buy tickets. Oh, you're in a bad spot. Mm hmm. I'm just going to have to wait. I have no choice. Yeah. I have I absolutely have... no choice. Absolutely. There you go. Um, you're an astronomer and you're working at a telescope. You're tasked to observe a certain star for your research project. Point your telescope at the star and observe. But look out for clouds as they ruin your observation. Other astronomers also want to use the telescope. So make, fi make sure you finish your observation before the time runs out. Otherwise, you'll be banned for wasting time. <laughs> That's funny. I feel like there's some work-related bitterness. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> infused into this game. Yeah. Uh, today, the boxed version is uh, October 21st, 2018. Today, the boxed version of Astronomer came out in conjunction with the Orionid meteor, meteor Shower. Take a look outside if you can. To celebrate this, we have released a patch that anyone can win. If you have a cart or the boxed edition, then shipping is free. Otherwise, you have to pay a small fee for shipping. The patch comes with a special letter. So you actually can earn this without having the box. You just have to pay for the patch. To win, you need to get a score of 20 in any game mode and send in a screenshot to the email in the flyer. But I don't have the flyer. That's the problem. Um, feel free to post them here, too. To buy the game, go to packratvg.com and use the order form. For the ROM, go to the Astronomer thread. Or maybe the, the flyer is posted, actually. So if your beam intersects a cloud, you can't observe the star. You can try, but if the you... The green disappears. So your green bar that you're trying to fill actually disappears. Yes, if you press the button while your beam's on a cloud. Yeah. If you don't press the button, screwed. you're fine. Like right now, she's not pressing the button, which is fine. She should be in between the clouds because you're pretty close. Yeah. It's dangerous, but it is dangerous. If you're, if you're pretty close, it's sometimes worth it. So, oh, see that? That's the worst. Well, kind this of. is a bad level. It's a bad level. Might. And you're dead. Oh, <laughs> seven. Rough. That's rough, man. It is rough. So is this, are the levels exactly the same each time? Or is there a little bit of randomness? Mm. I think there's randomness. This cloud isn't, cloud isn't moving at all. I don't remember it not moving first game last time. And the difficulty comes in with the star speeds and, yeah, the st and the how high speeds. it is in the sky and yeah. the cloud speeds and the spacing of the clouds mm -hmm. and the size of the clouds. But there is some randomness to it. There is. And and that's the thing. It's a lot of luck. Where the clouds yeah. are, how fast the clouds are, how fast the star is. It may slightly increase as you go along, but at the end of the day, it's, oh, I'm in trouble. it's challenging. Come on, come on, well, come on. Well, you've got a lot, but that's fine. Nope. Might as well reset. No. 
Yeah. Can you it's reset? Like, you want me to reset? Yeah, it's a waste of time. Anytime you lose a star, you might as well reset. Yeah. No, this is the same level as last time. Cloud that's mm -hmm. not moving. Maybe it is the same. And that's the same. Maybe it is. You can anticipate it. Getting little bits in between is is what allows you to win. Yep. That would make sense. That was the same. But the clouds are in the same spot that with the star respawning. The so that is going to change your game. Mm. Right? Mm. It will. Because the timing will change. Were the again. clouds? Yeah. No, that one changed. The timing will change. That one changed. Yeah. But but I don't know if it's the same every game. No. I don't think it's it hard is. to tell you. Hi, Foofers. Hi. Maybe the stars are the same. Not the clouds. I don't know. Where the star respawns is dependent on how quickly you get that green bar up, so... Oh, God. That's horrible. Oh! 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 You're losing! Nope. Green. Done. I'm gonna keep You're going. not done. You've got a hundred and hundred over hundred. No, but that's really good though. You lose. You don't lose that much. But these fast moving clouds are oh, what kill just you. Lost. No, Some you're green. fine. You're fine. You're fine. You have to get them. You have to get it in between. You have to. Yeah. There you go. Fiddly. It is fiddly. I do have lots of time to get it, but just counting down the seconds. It's a fast moving cloud, but it's a big one. Oh. It's always good to keep positioning it. Yeah. Even while you're Over waiting. the star? Yeah, for sure. Does anyone know, is the beam actually a wide Atari missile? Um, it, it's not play, f it's actually, I think it's play field. Because mm -hmm. look how chunky it is, and it's only in fours. I am pretty sure it's play field. Mm. Or the ball. Uh, just the way it's chunky would indicate that it's more play field. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the ball could be reposition finer mm. um it could be the ball because it's no because it can only go eight wide if it's the ball and this goes wider than eight mm. right yep i was wondering why it was so chunky yeah look how wide it is there that's wider than eight yeah um is. yes very very chunky and and they probably wanted to make it Wide, wider than eight because they have to. Right? Yeah. So the ball wouldn't work. I mean, it is a bit weird that it's really chunky, but it makes sense because it has to be wide enough to uh, to capture the star. Ugh. I'm done soon. I don't know. You're oh, surviving. Especially on this level. <gasps> yep, I'm done. Go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Fourteen. Fourteen. Very good. I knew you were doing well. Hey, Dan ABC. Dan ABC. 
Uh, I know I'm late. We'll watch on YouTube later. Stay safe. Yeah. Yep. You too. You too. Glad you could join us. Am 14. I'm not going to hit 14. Well, Do you want another shot? Well, after you. Right. Need a little break. Fair enough. I think the biggest, the funniest meme I saw coming out of this whole thing mm. is about all the company, the emails from every single company you've ever interacted oh, with. Oh, God, yeah. Telling us what they're doing about the issue. It's oh, like, it's wh hilarious. It's like, why do I care about what you were doing about the issue? This, yeah. this obscure company that I never interact with. Well, I, I, that was good. I always love the meme. Um, you suddenly realize all the mailing lists you're on. Yeah. Because now everyone, every company you've ever interacted with is telling you what they're doing about uh, COVID-19. So. Yeah. Oh, you got it demonetized. You said the name. Doesn't matter. We don't get YouTube Sorry? revenue anyway. COVID-19? I'm not allowed to say that. Well, that's it's kind of the thing that all the YouTubers they don't say the name really of the virus really because they say it gets demonetized i haven't actually i think that's bullshit i haven't seeked out a video to prove that that's hilarious it's because i think it's <sighs> so that people don't spread like faux, wrong, wrong faux information. information yeah and yeah of course you can still give out false information without saying the name of it too uh, you can't do diagonal that for any... Oh, I can't read this because a stupid bloody pop-up constantly comes up. In any other way, in basic Batari. Oh, okay. Uses play field. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. But I mean, what else, what else could you have used for that? You could use ball. But the ball would not be wide enough. In most instances like this, it would be totally fine. Except for that. That angle. Damn it. Yeah, I can see where the paddle helps you. In certain circumstances, yeah. Well, we could try out the paddle. Well, we could, yeah. If because you want to try might, it the next round. Because yeah. it might help in certain circumstances uh, to just... <gasps> oh, no! no! <laughs> Bad move. Oh, no! That's... Wrecked. Sucky. Uh, Metal Lunar says they have some policy. Uh, I've heard that you can't profit from a tragedy on YouTube. Uh, so they supposedly don't want people making Corona related videos and getting quick clicks for a quick buck. I yeah, see. I get it. That is true. You can't profit from a tragedy, no matter what it is. Yeah. So you can still make videos, but you won't get any money from a video when you where you mention it. Which, you know, it's not the worst rule in the world. world no, that's it's for not. Sure. It's like uh, people so who are convicted of crimes who can't... Um, profit from books or Profit movies. from books or, or memoirs or anything like, anything like that. Which in Canada. I, in Canada, not in the U.S. In the U.S. you can make lots of money. Yeah, but in Canada you're not allowed to do that. Which is why people sue over uh, people who have put out books. Because it involves usually other people. Well, I remember with um, oh, what was it? No, Picton. Oh, okay. Uh, in particular, um, uh, they made a movie, and it was not allowed to be shown in Canada. Oh. Um, uh, because it's something someone profiting. It was kind of loosely based on. Oh, that was not ten. Great. Ten is pretty good for me, actually. So we're gonna try paddles now. Even though I think it's going to be a little rough in terms of positioning, it'll definitely help Oops. Mm. when you are trying to flip from one side to the other. Hold those. Okay. I'm pretty sure we tried paddles one time before and it was like, no. Nope. I think we did and it was too fiddly. Yeah. It was very, it, paddles are so sensitive. There you go. Yeah, well, very sensitive. I need to oh, maybe it's loosen them. Yeah. It, it... I swear we played with paddles. We did, and it was just you have to be so precise with the paddles, but you have to be precise with uh, the joystick too. Mm. I'm gonna start again. Goodbye. 
Messed kind up of the beginning. Up. That's fine. One. <laughs> oh, it even remembers when you reset what mm -hmm. your score is. That's unique. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen another game that does that. It's like, oh, you gave up? Well, here's your oh. score anyway. Metal Lunar 7 says, I wish my paddles still work. They're so wobbly now. Oh, there's ways to fix them. You should check online. Mm. It's not bad. You have to get used to it. Mm. I I find even the uh, controller to be a little sensitive. You're it suddenly is. jumping ahead a little too fast, and you just want to go over like one pixel, and yes. it's jumping across. Jumps two. And you're like, oh, oh, stay where you stay there. Just go over one. So paddles tend to be even more sensitive. Yes. Oh yeah. This oh, maybe bad. your new retro paddles. Yeah, actually, uh, they're stiffer. They might work that's better. True. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, yes, and you don't need to move it much. Like those to... dots on Beam Rider, that was probably the ball shifted all over. Oh, they're talking about. Time. Uh, it probably was actually. They were staggered, mm. and that's why they were able to um, put them all over the place. This is not bad. Definitely fast for getting back over. Mm. But it's absolute positioning, right? So you don't really know where the beam is at first. Uh, I think this is pretty good, actually. It'll help on those certain levels. Not this one. <laughs> ah, ah. <gasps> Damn it! Reset! No! I didn't have much though. That's okay. No. This is a hard level. Yeah, it's the three fast clouds. Those are the worst. They really are. This game is very zen though. It's, it it's, it's, it's not, not fast moving. It's not like the last game we played. <laughs> no, it's the opposite. Uh, is very frantic. This is very simple, moving, trying to move your controller by a pixel and following the ball. <laughs> it's it very is, precise. It is not. Um, <gasps> it's not uh, an exciting game. Really. Uh, More a I meditative say game. Not not exciting. More meditative. It is. I need every second I have. No! <gasps> Just got it. Just got it. Good job. It was one pixel away from not having it. Mm. Damn it. Go! Go, fast clouds. Get out of here. The only thing I wish this game had was a star counter mm. on the screen, like mm. at the top. Or. Somewhere. It does need that because you don't know how many stars you've actually gotten at that point. You don't need to know how many stars. No, but, but it's, it's kind of motivating. Kind of nice. It's yeah. like, oh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I yeah. just need one more. I need 20. Yeah. These. Go. Go. Move it fast. Yeah. Move Faster. it. Faster. There we go. I'll be fine on this level. It's just, that was not good. Come on. No, paddle's better. Uh, Is it? Yep. I'm running out of time. Oh, you just got it. <gasps> Ooh, very far apart clouds. Come on, go. Whenever I see this, it all it almost feels like you're trying to torch the ball. Like like you have trying to burn it. A flamethrower and you're trying to pretend. set it on fire. But that's what it feels like to pretend me. And that's what it is. I think it's the audio tones mm. sound like like you're trying oh, to flamethrow yeah. it. With different audio it might yeah. be a bit more soothing. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, come on. Get it before those clouds come. I gotta get in between. Not much. I'll get it. There we go. Oh, big cloud. Kind of moving fast. The big cloud yeah. is easier to deal with. Though. It is. It's the three fast ones that are pretty awful. They get in the way. Yeah. They come on, come on, come on. really do. You're... 
I'm doing probably fine, but I'm running out of time. Oh, you're doing pretty well, though. No. You Damn are. It. Oh, is it? In one general? fast. That's okay. In general, you're doing well. Damn it. You're okay. You're no, okay. I'm you're run okay. Out of time. No, no, you're okay. No, I'm not. Don't be so negative. I'm not. I'm You'll get him. You'll get him. That cloud is small. Three. Oh, 16. 16. Oh. Oh, so close. I think you should go again. I'm I not going to do break. that well. You need a break? Yeah. Okay. I haven't tried it with the paddle yet. Well, that's a good excuse to play it then. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure I like this. Why am I not moving? Oh. No, it takes a tiny. No, it's not. Once you get used to it. No, but it wasn't moving. I was like, it's because you're it. way over. That's oh, why. I see. Because the, the, the full range of the paddle is huge. So imagine you're lasering space junk and trying to avoid all the orbiting satellites. That's that's kind of the same. That's, that's a, a good, good alternative, of, actually. Uh, describing and, it. And you and you have to laser it for a certain amount of time to make it explode. He could make a make a new version of the game. And those uh, and the stars could explode if you laser them enough. And uh, then the clouds can turn into. He could turn the clouds into other looking. Things that uh, uh, look like satellites, actually, instead of clouds. To make part two. Mm -hmm. And then, actually, he can make the star bigger in that case and the beam smaller. And you could get away with using the ball in that case because you could stagger it at eight instead of chunkiness instead of a 16 wide where it's like eight high you can do an eight wide and then another eight wide and it would be totally fine okay kitten you're not helping me. and the beam would be smaller but it would be totally fine that's not bad actually oh. yeah that's the problem you whip it oh, oh no shit. When you whip it back all the way over, you have to be careful not to whip it too far over. Then you don't know where your uh, beam starts. Psst. Oh, the cat's stuck. Is he? You need to help him then. No, he's okay. He got it. The basic kernel use an asymmetric playfield as its built-in display. I mean, it makes sense that they would use an asymmetric because there's not too many games that call call for symmetrical. I mean, you, you can make games that call for symmetrical, but very few utilize it because it doesn't use, it doesn't result in very interesting play field graphics. You could be the Empire doing target practice with the Death Star. True. Oh, no. no. It's over. <laughs> Damn it. Over. Yeah, it is over, actually. It is. Oh, I hate that. That's the one downside. Twelve. Yeah, seven did much better last time, but I do think it's there's some idiosyncrasies to the paddle, yeah. but it does make it easier to control. Yeah, you can like it, it actually does, and like I said, what are you doing? Are you okay, baby? Yeah, he got a little stuck. He couldn't move backward easily, oh, and he had nowhere to go forward. Yeah. <laughs> But he figured it out. He jumped up yeah. instead. Sweetheart. Little green eyed cat. <laughs> Is he yeah. green? Yeah, he's green eyes. Oh. Purr. <laughs> Purring strong. So today Al confirmed my um, Atari Vox was on its way. Oh, good. But he typed out your zookeeper cartridge is on its way <laughs> zookeeper is on its way and i'm like zookeeper <laughs> am i living in the future <laughs> zookeeper doesn't exist yet not on cartridge really well, i thought still, they were selling it no 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 it's still being made oh and i and i and i said don't you mean atari box and he's like well i could substitute out the zookeeper for Atari <laughs> box if you want. And I said, uh, well, zookeeper's a little harder to find on cartridge than the Atari box, so maybe yeah. keep it, keep zookeeper in there instead. Mm. He must have been like doing something, uh, talking about zookeeper just before that. Mm. <laughs> Accidentally typed it out. 
because it's not it's not done yet. So mm. I'd want the final version on cartridge if he was going to put it out or send it to me. So he can flash any game because um, the cartridges he uses are reprogrammable, mm. so he can flash like any game anytime, which is super handy. See, this is this is the level where it's going to be super handy. I don't. Yeah. Watch. You go flick. As soon as it's over, and I go flip. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, that helps a lot. And if I was using a joystick, oh, yeah. another level like that. Prow Seven says Zookeeper. That's the best arcade game. Yes. It's a good arcade game. It's a really fun. It's hard. Yeah, it's, and 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 it is hard, as I I suppose to says, there's an amazing 2600 homebrew coming out. Yes. Yeah, it's really. It good. is. Excellent. And that is a super fun game. Yeah. Hard Did we as well. play Zookeeper when we were at the arcade? I've no. never seen it in the arcade. Okay. Yeah. Come on, 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 come on. Damn it! Here, sweetie. So close. Oh, Get out of here. Oh, he's purring. Oh, oh, this is Atari. Yeah. Our little gray tabby. Named after Atari. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. If you haven't figured figured it out. He was a stray that we adopted from the BCSBCA. Yep. And he is the cuddliest, purriest, happiest, purriest, cat, happiest ever. cat you've ever met in your entire life. Yeah. He does chew furniture, though. He does chew furniture. He does have one flaw. He has one flaw, but it's we a bad can accept flaw. that flaw because he it's is. It's an expensive flaw. <laughs> it's an expensive flaw. Uh, makes our he couches is, look ratty. Yeah, he is just the sweetest. Damn it! Damn it, I was doing so yeah, good. Yeah, happy Katari. Yeah, he is the sweetest cat you'll ever meet. Yeah. And, like, how many Loves cats do everyone. you know that you can pick up in your arms like this and, and he is purr? literally purring? Yes. Damn it. Yeah, he is... Bad mistake. Which is why I highly recommend, if anyone wants a cat, to adopt. Because yeah. you get some pretty amazing cats. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Damn yeah. it. You're a good kitty. Yep. Adopt a stray. Adopt a stray. Don't breed cats. There's tons of them in the world. No! Oh, no. Damn oh, it. gotcha. Oh, I don't have much time. I'll get this one, though. You will. But not have much time left. <gasps> or I oh, won't. no! Yeah, that's over. Damn it. That's over. 12. Twelve. That was pretty good. What was it? Sixteen. Sixteen. You were close. You were close. I messed up yeah. on that. On the one level before that. It always starts on this level though. And the better you do on every level, the longer you can play for. So everything counts. It's cumulative. So if you do well in the first level, it'll help you on the last one. Where's my bloody bean? It's the only problem with the paddles. Yeah. You lose your starting point. Yeah. If you whip that's it over true. too fast. So make sure you know where your beam is when you're on the left. Come on. Damn it. Oh. Precious time. I'll make it. What they say? Just I is supposed to saying, uh, mentioning the Pro Seven uh, that you you played Zookeeper a lot. Oh yeah, we played it on the channel. We played it recently. I is supposed to says James, I'm no longer doing sound for the upcoming Gorf. Nathan got oh, no. a new Atari box and did all the speech in about a week. Oh my God! Wow. Powered through it. Yeah. <laughs> He's still purring. <laughs> I love this little dude. Well, it's too bad you're not working on it still. Yeah. <sighs> this level is hard no matter what.
Maybe you can pre-do all the Satan's Hollow music. <gasps> Satan's Hollow. Oh, I'm so excited. And all the sounds for Satan's Hollow. Oh, I'm so excited. It's not I don't know if anyone else will watch it. I don't care. I will be playing Satan's Hollow when diddly it comes do, out. Diddly do, diddly do, diddly do, diddly do, diddly do. Oh, cannot wait. Well, it's not guaranteed. I know, it's but... It's just on the massive list of things John Shampo might do in the future. Oh, I love Satan's Hollow. It's right up there. Games I played a lot of. I remember we went to one of the Portland Retro Gaming Expos. Eight and James ago. said to me, have you played Satan's Hollow before? And I said, no, I don't think so. And we went and we, we went to the arcade. And he started playing. I was like... Oh, holy shit, I had this on my Commodore 64, <laughs> and I played it a lot. Which is really weird, because it's not like a super well-known game. I don't know, but my dad, back in the day, when I was a young child, um, had it as, I mean, all the games we had that I played on our Commodore 64, he got from his friend, of course. which were all... So on the C64. Yeah, it, they were all like bootleg gamed. I don't know what you would call them. And so I, we p pirated. Dirty pirates. Dirty, <laughs> dirty pirates. Uh, that he got from a BBS somewhere. And oh. none of them came with instructions, so we just had all these games, and one of them was Saint Solo. Yep. And I played it a lot. And I had no idea. When you said Satan's Hollow, nothing registered until you started playing it. I went, oh. oh my god, this I played this game to death. So I was very excited. So, so I. yeah, I played a lot. So uh, I supposed to, I lost all my Satan's Hollow sprites oh, from no. an HD crash that also wiped my back up. Oh no! Well, the sprites are pretty easy to recreate because they're because you still have there's there's a, a binary so you can see them. Nathan I mean, Strong says. Uh, oh, Thunkus says Satan's Hollow. Yeah, exactly. I know. I love it. Uh, Rev Engine ported his Speakalator app to Mac. Oh. So I was finally able to start creating Atari Box phrases. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, that would be a lot of that's fun. That's awesome. I just think of. Um, oh, we ran out of time. 13. 13 is pretty good. Um, Get, come on. No, Wizard of, of War. Get out of there. The Atari Box is brilliant for that. There. Oh, Brilliant! There's, there's so many so phrases. Good. Yeah, so good. Me? Yeah. Are you gonna try again? I did two in a row. Oh, did thirteen. Right. Oh, this game's so hard. It is. Twenty is. Oh, oh. Was someone working on a twenty-six hundred Satan's Hollow? There are rumors. There are rumors. That John Shampo might work on it, and there is a demo done by Esposta. A um, not a demo. A proof of concept done by Esposta, and it's a very, very good proof of concept. It, it proved it, pretty much. I'm still waiting for my double score dungeon t shirt. <laughs> Shampoo is out there somewhere. Come on, John, John. get on it. Get those while the, and while I'm the iron's hot. I'm perfectly happy paying for it. Yeah. But I want a double score dungeon t shirt. Just putting that out there. Oh, Lord, this is terrible. Look at this. Oh Ooh. no! Go go go! Oh, oh. it's like and tracking it... with the freaking cloud. Go. Yeah, the angle is sometimes really rough with those clouds. Gorf won't be the last game with Atari Fox phrases either. Hmm. What other <sighs> games are there for Atari Vox? I mean, all the uh, sports games he wants to do are lend themselves very well to um, voices, obviously. Oh no, it's really rough. And if you notice, you get a little bit of bonus. You do. And if you hit the cloud, the, that bonus goes away right away. Oh, this is a terrible round. Look at it. All of them have been blocked. Sinistar has voices. Um, what does? Sinistar. It's a space shooter game. Oh, that oh, was awful. Two. No, I, I had terrible uh, luck Yeah. that round. Come on, start moving. I think that's Daryl Spice Jr.'s um, boss, uh, Draconian engine would be a good one to use with. Um, Look at this. Look at the timing. How freaking awful is that? Look at that! It's a game I just uh, mentioned. Yeah, that's terrible. You can get it on... Oh, no, you can. Yeah, there you go. Do it all the way. 
Just keep it away from the cloud. Here we go. Just be really careful. Because there's kind of two edges to the star. There's the far left yeah, and the far, the far right. Yeah. I'm happy that you made them. I use the Win Speakalator in emulation and it freezes the Vox a lot. Oh well. The old Vox freezes. I'm glad I'm I'm gonna get the new Vox, Atari Vox. Because then we can finally play Wizard of War properly. Oh, look at this. Sinistar, yes, yeah, sorry. Um, I never played Sinistar. I just watched a video on it the other day. I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. You have to kind of prevent the big ship from getting together by shooting the pieces. But I never played it in the arcade or on any emulation. I should play it because I have, I'm pretty sure I have it on a compilation for like PS2 or PS3 or Xbox. It looked like a lot of fun. It's another space shooter. Very much like uh, Bosconian. And I did order another Bosconian t-shirt. Oh, you did? Yes. Yours was small. It was, was it? Yeah. I and it mine was, was, nope, I looked at, looked at it. I don't know why we ordered a small. That's just too dangerous. Like, this is a medium. Mediums are, are, oh, you wasted it. Mediums are good. Smalls are a gamble. Well, I don't Sometimes know. smalls are okay, but usually not. Depends on the sizing, yeah, that's yeah. true. I had Atari Age make the 1984 prototype of a one-off Cinestar. Um, for what platform? Was there a 2600 Cinestar? Well, I just had a quick look at the Zookeeper from a recent stream. It is really well made. That's, oh, it's brilliant. It's an understatement. It is incredible. It is brilliant. I mean, he took all the knowledge that he uh, gained from probably Mappy with the multiple... Um, people on one level with all the all the cats and like cranked it up because there's mm -hmm. so many zoo animals on on the same line and really the impetus for zookeeper was his his discovery with the title screen on mappy that if he flickered certain things in a certain way it created a line an unintentional line on the screen that kind of look like bricks. Eight! That was it? It felt like way more than that. <laughs> and so he said, oh, I can make bricks with this, this trick. Mm. And his mind went to Zookeeper, which is, the whole screen's filled with bricks. Mm. And that was the reason. It's those little things that, that still are being discovered with the 2600. Quirks or mistakes that actually are not good on one thing, but are like groundbreaking on something else. Mm. Like accidentally making bricks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> on yeah. Mappy, yeah. <laughs> turned into a whole game. Yeah. It's, it's brilliant. 2600 prototype of Sinistar. Wow, it must be rough. It's really well done for oh. a 1984 unfinished game. Oh, wow. I guess it's not rough. Like, I mean, 1984 is the end of the f kind of the main run of games before mm -hmm. the crash. Mm -hmm. Games kept going, and Dan Kitchen made a, mu a bunch of games after 1984, actually. Mm -hmm. um, like Double Dragon. Mm -hmm. Really well done for an Atari game. Wow. And, um... What's the other one? Uh, Kung Fu Master. Unbelievable port for mm -hmm. the 2600. Like very little missing actually from the arcade no <laughs> no, no pointless because you're chatting <laughs> yep. i hit the cloud mm -hmm. oh i'm doing really bad in this level can you reset it it's pointless sure. i just lost like 30 seconds thank you I'll have to check out Sinistar. If it was really well done in 1984, then there's hope that somebody might want to remake it then. From scratch. Or update it. This just seems like there's a lot going on in Sinistar. For a 
early non-accelerated, non-chip, non-extra chip game. Now that cloud's gonna come out. Ooh, I might be able to stay ahead of it though. Yep. Damn it. Ah, I lost my bonus. Only about two seconds that you lose if you lose your bonus. Sometimes you can't help it because you're holding down the button and then there's a cloud right where you're holding down the button when the screen changes. So it's kind of a... Ah! That was lucky. You can kind of take photos for like a millisecond. Oh no, it gives you a kind of a reprieve. Paddles are the way to go for this game if you want to try and get. So I got 16 out of 20. Come on. Oh, good. <sighs> that was close. Paddles are really sensitive, so you have to move it so slowly. So very slowly. Oh no. Three, three clouds. Oh, they're getting all jittery. What is wrong with these paddles? Come on. There we go. Come on, get there before the clouds. I think I might make it. Nope. Try and get in between a little bit. Nope, not enough. Every little bit helps. See? They could have used paddle for an analog joystick with four buttons like the Vectrex. Read that after. Oh, yes, quite done. Didn't quite process that last line. They could have used the paddle for an analog joystick with four buttons like the Vectrex. Ooh. Yeah, they could have. Because these paddles are plugged into one port. Yeah. And technically, there's an X and Y on this. Mm -hmm. Right? And then you can... That's okay. And with the other... Like, this could be left and right. Just pretend this is left and right. And then the other paddle is up and down. Mm. And there's already two buttons going, right? Mm. And it, and they're both analog. Yeah, they could have made an analog joystick with at least two buttons. But probably more. That's too bad. Well, somebody could make one now. <laughs> of course, you'd have to sell the hardware and the software at the same time. So you have to make really convincing, like a reason, a good enough game that people would buy a piece of hardware for it. But homebrew fanatics are pretty crazy. <laughs> really crazy. So, oh, damn it. So that's the first I've heard of that, that idea. I'm sure somebody's thought of it before. But, mm. uh, You'd have to have a, a game that you couldn't play with a digital joystick. But there are a bunch. Like a crosshairs. Any time a cro type of crosshairs game. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, a 2D mm -hmm. crosshair game. Um, you could do redo Crossbow, which Dan Kitchen made for the 2600. Another really good late port. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, any kind of aiming, shooting... Uh, crosshair game. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. Oh, come on. Oh. oh, I ran out of time? Yeah. 14, 16. 16 is pretty damn good, though. It is, but it's not good enough. <laughs> uh, well, you need 20. Yeah. You're going to keep going, yeah? Uh, two more games. Okay. Two more games. I'm holding you to that. It is uh, 9.04. Okay, three hours. <laughs> I'm holding you to two games. Okay. Because uh, we've been playing for over three hours now. So. Yeah. Air, Air Raiders. Raiders could have used an analog joystick, yeah. I haven't played any Air Raiders. <laughs> so. Yeah, any flight simulator. 
is one. Um, yeah, I bet there's a bunch of games. That was one of my dad's favorite games on the uh, Commodore 64 was Which? the Flight Simulator. Flight Simulator, yeah. yeah. He loved, we had a... F it was called Flight Simulator. Yeah. It was one of the few games we bought. Surprised you doesn't continue that now with even he better games. He loved it, and he bought better a better computers. joystick for it. Ah. Yeah. Well, he's uh, well into his 70s now. So. He'd still play? He Flight would enjoy simulators? It. Yeah, they're, he they're... would. He would. Oh my god, look at this. Come on. There we go. I've always said the irony is that my dad was very computer literate. Yeah. But in more recent years, he's very less interested in his computer. <laughs> and my mother, that. who's very sociable, who's <laughs> also in her mid to late 70s, is very active on social media. It's And it flipped completely. Whereas my mother wouldn't know how to turn on, on a computer when I was younger. She would not know where the power button is. <laughs> And she has a smartphone and has figured out how to use Facebook and WhatsApp and all of those apps. It's all about the reason to use it. The it's, reason it's an to use exactly. It's it's it just I find that incredibly funny. Yeah. My dad um, got his master's degree in mathematics and statistics, so he actually uh -huh. worked. Damn it! He worked for IBM back in the day, and he did uh, punch card programming yep um wrecked on those wall size computers which i i just i just think is the, the nice. coolest it's thing in the world yeah like but it's amazing yeah that that's what he used to do so uh, no but it's point in continuing this game but i will no, keep continuing i wrecked it i wrecked it but i find those things very cool yep early technologies and and how they were used It's really amazing what you can do, mm -hmm. what you could do with those early computers. Yeah. But it was all about speed and just graphics. They were just how fast you could process numbers. Yeah. How clever the programmers were. Yeah. If you could have really, really complex games with text graphics. Clouds again. <laughs> when I first saw this game, before I played it, I was like, oh, that's a simple looking game. But it's so surprising <laughs> when you start playing games that look simple, like in terms mm -hmm. of graphics and, and playability, and then you play them and you're like, wow, this is, no, there's a lot to this game. There's a lot of, like, strategy almost like you just have to be really precise with this game it's very precise but it's also there's a little bit of um luck oh there's a lot of luck yeah so you can be dealt a very what I, what you did hit it you I hit it i did not yes you did <laughs> i let i let go and then it went eh. oh 12 16 16 is still pretty freaking amazing was that your first that <sighs> was your first, first? you get one and more i messed up on a level because i hit a Cloud. It always starts with this one. It's a good trainer level. This must be hard coded, this level. Because it's always the same. It's getting all terrible. <gasps> Where's my. Clouds are coming out. Come on, just get past it. There's a, there's a couple games like this mm. that the timer is continuous. Mm -hmm. Like most games are like, okay, you made it to the next level, everything's reset. Except yeah. for your lives. But this, you, you do reset, you get some more yeah, but time, it's, but it's, it's not enough. It's still additive. Um, it's like... It, I, I find it a really interesting concept because... You have to be incredibly precise in any mistake, you lose time. 
Yeah. And that's how you not progress, yeah. you know? Um, you make the slightest mistake and you're screwed. Yep. You have to decide. Mind you, when it comes to winning these patches, that's usually the case for all the games. Yeah. It's like tire tracks. You have to get it perfectly. So. Yeah, that one you have to get it yeah. perfect. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. But you have to side with caution on this one. You get right? 30 each time. 30? Oh, okay, thank yeah. you. Good to know. So if you lose more than 30 in the round, you end up behind every you single time. will always be behind. Yeah. You. So you want to get it within 30. That is kind of your goal. I don't think you can. I don't... I think... You're always going down. There's luck. There's luck no, there. You're always going down. You're always going down, you but... You start with 150. But there's way luck. down from there. And if the, the clouds are lined up in a certain way, you can probably do it in 30. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you are always going down, but if you get an unlucky round, you'll never make 20. No, I'm going to show you when I die. I'm yeah. Go to the first level. I will not make that simple first level in 30. It's not going to be... started at 92. Well, I messed up on this level already, yeah. so this, so, this no. can't count. Yep. Uh, you almost did it in, in 30. Really? So if you hadn't screwed up, really? you probably would have made it in 30. You probably have to do okay. it perfectly Perfect. every time. Right. That would make sense. But the clouds screw you up. Yeah. They really do. I feel like if you never had a cloud obstruction, you, you probably it. could do it in 30. Sometimes you can't get the star right away, too. It's like off the screen. Yeah, you're you're slightly below 90 now every time you reset. Mm. So I really do think, yeah, the clouds the clouds <gasps> are what stop you from hitting that 30 point. I'm dead. Well, no, you're not dead. Yeah. Oh, you are, because then you lose. Lose everything, and I've started. How much over. do you lose? Uh, your whole green 15, 15. and your whole green and your whole green really no yeah. no no not your whole green yes, you had some start, green you had back some to, green it starts back to the basic no your basic is zero green you had no. some green basic is one. Oh, now you screwed yourself over <laughs> i yeah. wouldn't have made it anyway 10 wow okay so watch you start at 150 yeah i, I can't get the star yet yeah Shuttery. That's okay. Shuttery. No. <laughs> yeah. See, 140. Yeah. I was already down 10, and that's yeah. the easiest Can level. you catch up? Can you do it in less than 30 is the question. I, we will see. Oh, man. <laughs> Brutal. Yep, that was a bad one. Oh, sneaky cat. 92, so let's You weren't at zero, though. Ninety-six. So, yeah, you could. If it's everything's perfect and you don't run into clouds, you can do it in. But I'm not going to continue this one. because No? I oh. Because I had a terrible first one. Are you going to try again, or is this... If you allow me. I'll allow you one more. <laughs> I'll allow you. At least I did better this time. So you start at 150. Come on, where's my... There it is. I got it. One second. <laughs> this is not being very good. No. It's being problematic. We lost Darcy a long time ago. Yeah, he had to do his TV time. Why did he have to do his TV time? I don't know. Silly. Not to talk to his wife. <laughs> he has prior obligations. Yeah. Normally he's over here and he I can't do TV know. time. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I, I, uh. There, 142. 142. So you so, didn't quite make 150. See this one though. You're at 142. It's because the other one doesn't start right away. I can't. It doesn't. But can you make it up? No. Yeah, nope. 142. That's exactly right. But the clouds screw you over. They really yeah. do. They yep. do. Can't do anything right now. Oh, no. I can do a little bit, but it's very dangerous. It is dangerous. 
A poor dancer blames the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard it said that way, but... Uh, that's a great that's quote. A yeah. <laughs> this damn floor. Yeah. Well, if there's like uh, grease all over the floor. <laughs> Having been a dancer for many years when I was a teenager, uh, I did blame I the relate. floor sometimes. Yes. craftsman blames his tools that's right yeah same thing same just thing. means you should get new tools <laughs> if, yes. if the tools are bad but you can blame them momentarily ah <laughs> uh, uh, nope death oh no those three clouds oh they're so slow terrible there we go terrible 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 There you go. Still, this is oh, not going to be a winning you round. Never know. I'm trying to. I'm still trying to figure out if you can make it. Make it up. No, you can't. I don't think you can. Only I if think you're, you're perfect. just completely screwed. If you're holding it down the whole time and you get it from start to finish, you can <laughs> get extra time. Metal Lunar Seven says, "Seeing this game at first, you never think you'd be playing it, enjoying it this long." Yeah, it 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 is so it's, weirdly simplistic. Yeah. Um, but challenging. It's such a super challenging game. Because you have to be so precise. And you would it's never, random. You would never know you would hate clouds so much. Yep. So much. Uh, uh, I'm going to run out of time. If it was the same each time, then it would be a different game. Six. That was terrible. That was terrible, but... It's weird. It it's so it feels very random. Yep. yep. Yeah. Is this is this the third game? Yep. Oh wow. Oh, everything we, looks Well, we have been playing it for a while, so Yeah. So what is up next? There is a good chance I might be we might be playing um in the next episode. What is that game? Where is it? Oh, my goodness. Don't really have anything planned except for Zookeeper again at the beginning Ooh, of next excellent. month. Excellent. That's not for a little while because we want to keep uh, playing in the 2020 Harmony games and get a higher score. Okay. Um, Oh, where is the game? It is about the uh, nuclear meltdown. Um, is it Dystopia? No, that's not it. That's his, uh, that's his other game. Damn it, can't remember it. Um, it's about the nuclear meltdown. What's what, Chernobyl? Yeah. I think that's the name of the game. It looks like he's done um, because he's put out the manual now. Mm. And he's put out... He actually has overlays for four and six switch... Um, systems mm. because you use the uh, switches as part of the game for doing different things um, so we might play that next episode um, and there's a couple games in the works that may or may not be done by then by next Wednesday mm. we're gonna see if Erlen can join in that'd be awesome remotely yeah. I know he uses his computer to play games so he has he has the ability. He has the ability. Yeah. He has a keyboard. So that's not going to be a problem. Yeah. And it's very, very easy to jump on. You just send the link and you're in. That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you can uh, video him in, that would be yeah. even better. Yeah. And I might uh, talk to Dan Kitchen nice. about um, playing Crackpots again at oh, some point nice. yeah, for yeah, the yeah. patch. Yeah. And I can fail miserably. <laughs> but it'd be awesome if he could join you. Too. Yeah, yeah, that would be really, really good. Because I think crockpots you can play two players at the not the same time, but alternating. Okay. Yeah, so I might be able to do that. That That'd would be, be a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah. Um, and I'll just keep my eyes open for mm -hmm. other things, and hopefully I'll be able to finish the edit of uh, Dianoid's interview. Oh yeah. From a million yeah. years ago. Well, it wasn't that long. No, ago. it was no. Uh, late November. November yeah. two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Now that there's a bit more time, and I just finished a big part of a project, and we'll see if that comes back anytime soon. Hasn't yet. 
Mm -hmm. um, so I should have a bit of time mm -hmm. over uh, the weekend Good. to do some work, or at yeah. least the early next week. Yeah. Um, yeah. So no games planned. I think I, I would hope that a lot of people would be at home programming. If they're off a bit, give them a bit more time. Well, yeah, I've and also, of... is that mod going to get installed in your um, in oh, television? Oh, that too. Yeah. Oh, I would do my Atari first, my RGB, fix my RGB. Okay. I wouldn't do the Intellivision. I was going to yeah. say, because if you fix that up, then there might be games, some homebrew games you can play on that. So. Yeah, the Intellivision scene is not the same. Same with the Coleco as yeah. the Atari 2600. Mm -hmm. They tend to hold their games very tight to their chest. Okay, fair enough. They don't release a lot of playable ones. Yeah. Um, so you don't, uh, you have to kind of buy them all. Mm. And unfortunately, they're like double the price mm -hmm. <laughs> of yeah. 2600 games yeah fair enough um but i do have a couple in television homebrew i think yeah somewhere um and if i can find some in television uh homebrew to download i can play those as well mm -hmm. um but i have like no name in the television homebrew scene yeah so people aren't just gonna be handing me games no true enough yeah like they do in the 2600 yeah realm yeah um but uh yeah we'll see what uh, comes up for the next episode and i've been busy so i haven't been able to plan i know that's fair enough but I there's will... lots out there to play there oh and even tons. even revisiting tons. old games you know oh yeah yeah so we're gonna say goodbye yes. for tonight thanks for night. everybody hanging in there with us including metal lunar 7 nathan strum thunkist 06502 isposta uh prow 7 uh let's see who charles Cafe Man 2D. Uh, danny vc jumped in there gretums yeah Av avionographer Av Avianographer. <laughs> Avianographer. Yeah. That's a new name. Yeah. Welcome. What is that thing? Someone that who likes name? birds. What is that? G L H F pledge. I don't know. Let's click on it. Oh. Oh, it's like it's like um a thing for Twitch. It's not the channel, but yeah. it's like a no, Twitch yeah, thing. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um. Who else do we have in there? So Pac a money funster obviously was around. Pack oh, VG. Thunkist. Subscribe to Tier 1. Oh, awesome. Yay! Thank you so much, Thunkus. They've that's, subscribed for two sweet. months now. Yeah. Good Very stuff. Very awesome. Yeah. Um, and I think that's... Nathan Strom. Nathan Strom, we said his name. Did you? Yep. Okay. So make sure you... Uh, oh, Ricardo Pim. Yay! Soon Asteroids Attack will be available for you to test. Oh, last excellent. Last episode suggestions. Yes, that was yeah. a very, very fun, beautiful looking game. Um, so yeah. you'll get to be able to play that. Ooh, There's yeah. like a really nice looking earth and the ships fly out from it. And oh, nice. Yeah. It's amazing. I have to say, it's really strange to be here all the time. <laughs> uh, usually it's once every two weeks. And yeah. now you're like, oh, uh, when, Twice are you, a week. when are you getting home from work? Because we need to play more Atari games. And I'm like, oh. So you're playing four <laughs> times as much as you normally <laughs> yes. do. That's quite a uh, job. It, which is fun because yeah. it's nice to be back here. But um, I, feel, I feel for my... Uh, colleagues yeah my compatriots Erilyn and darcy and i'm looking forward to them coming back and yeah seeing them around but we're trying um, to include them with uh, the remote I, I think that's awesome i hope you can get that working for both of them all the time and it's really maybe easy. even getting all four of us at once but i don't know if that's possible um maybe That'd be very cool. Maybe. I don't know if we can play all four at once, though. I think it's one at a time, right? With the, uh, with I don't the, know uh, how Javitari? it... It may only handle two paddles. That's the thing. Mm. But you could play alternating Like, you sure. couldn't play that um, castle game. Um, That's what I was thinking. That would be so cool. I love that Let's game. see. Javatari. Let's see the options. That is one of my favorite games. What is it called? Uh, it is uh, Medieval Mayhem. Medieval Mayhem. Or even the original one as well. Yeah. Because Medieval Mayhem might be too complicated so for this to, uh, to do. It says paddles on or off. Oh. Um, but let's see the controls. Yeah. Because that's what really counts. Because each person would have to take a control, and I don't know, can it do that? Nope. Nope, just two paddles. 
Oh. Yeah. That's a shame. Well, two people could play at once, right? Swap sides, toggle paddles. Mm. Paddles, joysticks, swapped. Mm. No. No, so you could only do two at once. Yeah. But two people could play at once. Two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's two cool. Two people could, which we... Which we haven't, which we didn't do, but we no, could, but we should try. We that could try sometime. and play a yeah. two-player game. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so we'd we'll be back on Wednesday. Um, don't know the timing. I'm just gonna leave it at 11 a.m. for now, because we might be able to do it at 11, depending, right? Maybe. 11 a.m. Maybe. No. No? I can't do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. No, it's always going to be six. It's always... Well... That's right. I keep no, forgetting. It could be five or something like that if you want to do it a little bit earlier. But no, I can't do it a little that's bit. That's right. I always forget. Yeah, um, I cannot do that. Six. Let's just leave it at six because then we can eat dinner. It's up to right. you. Yeah. 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 I don't eat dinner early. Yeah. At four or something. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be six o'clock on Wednesday for the time being. Yes. Until the uh, the plague is over. <laughs> That's when <laughs> we'll get back to normal. Over. Wonderful. It is a plague. Yes, it is. What is the definition of a plague? Well, plague is a specific disease. Oh, like the that's black the plague disease? is a specific plague. But the word plague is more general now. Yeah, but the plague is actually. Oh, it's not. A plague is a disease that Your affects. Your pestis. Wait. The plague is a disease that affects humans and other mammals. It is caused by a specific bacterium, yeah. Yersinius plestis. Oh. So it is a, yeah, exactly. Gretin, <laughs> thank you, Gretins. It is a specific disease. So, so yeah. Pixel and Atari would get the plague. Yes. <gasps> yeah. I don't want that. No. My favorite disease to say. <laughs> Yersinius pestis. Sounds like yeah. a, you know, a, um, yeah. a hex on somebody. <laughs> Spread the virus back in the day, James. Didn't quite have this mind lull. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Different virus. Yeah. Um, that was a mental virus. <laughs> this is an actual one. Uh, the thing with the plague is one of the reasons why they think it proliferated is because there was this period in time where they decided they didn't like cats and they killed them all. Oh. And because the cats weren't around to kill the mice, mice and rats... rats um, that's got worse. one of the reasons why they think the Black Plague um, affected medieval England so badly. Yeah. So the moral of the story is adopt more cats. That's right. That's, that's, and leave them alone. They help you. Right. They get the bugs and the rats yes, and they're the mice. Very good animals. Still has a strong hold in the four corner yes. areas of New no, Mexico. No, it's true. I've heard that. And there's, what is wow. the other disease? Um, there's a horrible disease in field mice. Um, really? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. In the Ticks. Arizona, in those dry states down south. Anyway. Yeah. That you can catch? Yes. From mice? It's horrible. Uh, is it the one where they poop in... In yes, it's things? it's it's their um then you catch their it from feces. That? I I'm not going to talk about that. It respiratory is a respiratory disease. disease. It's a terrible terrible disease. I don't yep. know why that suddenly jumped into mind. <laughs> oh, but, diseases. Um, anyway, happy times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have so, a biology degree. Just just so you know. So yeah. that's why these things. So everybody, stay indoors. Yeah. Play Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Playing Atari Twenty Six Hundred will yeah. save lives. So stay inside and play. Yes. Your VCS. Yeah. <laughs> And we'll be back on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Yes. Um, sorry, Europeans, you're out of luck for now. Unless I play by myself or do an ex exclusive yeah. stream with uh, like one of the other guys yeah. in the mornings. Mm -hmm. But um, We'll see what happens. It's it's challenging not having that person there and the volumes are a bit weird. But we got yeah. we got it a bit better you today. Could do, you could always do a short stream with someone. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Anyway. anyway, have a good night, and we will see you on Wednesday. Yeah. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Yeah, have a good weekend.